Let us set a Corinthians, uh, not to mention my inhibitions, be intimate still, make provisions, I know I need to be disciplined, I pray the Lord don't take my spirit, but replenish and finish the sinner, I know it's care center, but limited, I pray that I'm not bound as noose in the hang, and hope that I am just as loose as my chains, I troop jumping through hoops, my jukes is insane, yeah, I still trip, miss, I still slip, learning not to be idle, but also practice in stillness, meditate, I regulate, shackle my illness, deficit submission, I double back with the kill switch, set it straight, educate, back to fulfillment this is not my rest shit i'd rather rest in resilience faced with opposition i battle my inner demons and steady ready because you know it's only for a season when dealing with these bad habits Supplication made by short steppers, the mind of lower state, so our brain distort messages, brave to swallow up a pride and make more effort, yeah, or we can talk like brothers and make us both better elevate, not to separate, and I'm making improvements not to seem reprobate, it hopes that my spirit ain't tuned to acclamation, yeah, and I pray make me strong as a Lacedaemonian on the undercard with seven spirit pilgrims, uh, to speak of problems well, I can name a billion, let that marinate the things I've seen through the systems, day to day, they always find a way to shift the blame, I'd rather better wait, captivate, uh, a mess of play, uh, and have my consciousness submission, eliminate thoughts not to pray and inhibition, but if you do, that's not reasonable grounds to predicate all these bad habits. Look like God, handsome. He use y'all blood for the ransom. I go to war with the mandem. Win everything like a champion. Don't need my hand held like a Samson. You on the block with a handgun. But you all ran when the man come. We on everything. Handsome, big like Samson. Big up the judges, priceless. Don't make me rip up your budget. Israel the nicest. Somebody you can't sell like flights get. That's why I get too severe. Jews up in here. Who's gonna stop me? Please bring them here. Like shoes that are swap me. I'll leave them there. <laughs> we just came out of nowhere. a blast like sifo because we shift control like a keyboard oh my god adios mio to bye bye adios mijo i'm out of dodge like a ram truck when them nukes land in the sandbox if you keep commands get your hands up if not you in a preheated pattern bruh men teach guy outside that's an og not to move pounds by the oc you still in the crib real cozy you baby boy like taraji and jody don't be an uncle time like myspace when's it my prime for my primate they out of time like a wash break. It's only for the club like a clock face. Bye. 
Babylon's a big ass brothel. Every nation's here. It smells like a Belgian waffle and foul halal falafels. I'm not here as long like a hostel. Why so hostile? Move like apostles. Jews with the gospel. You don't need no like Rocco. Pot's finna turn the whole block to a pothole. I'm in the Bible. Thumbing through launch codes. This is a process. This is called progress. This is a mindset. We all gods here. This is no contest. This is a conquest. Who's that in Basra? Trying the wine press. Came out of nowhere. Please do not go there. I am a co ed Give me a oh yeah. Read what you so yeah. Let my people go. It'll be woe there. Woe there. Sabbath morning, rise and shine, hit the block, make it hot, shake him down, we go at it till about four, five o'clock, warfare, got my gear, I'm prepared for the op, and we talk it, how we walk it, yeah, that's just how we walk. Sabbath morning, rise and shine, hit the block, make it hot, shake him down, we go at it till about four, five o'clock, warfare, got my gear, I'm prepared for the op, and we talk it, how we walk it, yeah, that's just how we rock. Friday night, gotta rest, in the morning, hit the block, shake him down, we go at it till about four, five o'clock. Hit the, hit the bed, got my gear, I'm prepared for the op, and we talk it, how we walk it, yeah, that's just how we rock. Hey, I'm a workaholic, but I'm play with me. Play with me. Hey, no breaks, do this till the death of me. Death of me. I'm with Elohim, careful what you say to me. Better watch your tongue. We've been the chosen ones, I heard you claim to be. Yeah, yeah. What do you got, hey, what do you got? Hey. What do you got, cause talk is cheap. Hey. What do you got, you see me say? Hey. Yeah, we got that ram and block. What Make it. Got, hey, what do you got? Hey. Heard you got that kill for me. Hey. What do you got, cause I need help? Hey. What do you got, cause talk is cheap? So I dedicate to do the Sarah week. Yeah, we not moving corners, so they thinking that we weak. Yeah. Never get it twisted, ayy, no sleep. We the sanctified, we pull up to your hood to clean the sheet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm blessed. blessed. Wolfie, you know it, know it. Times. All I do is raving, praying for the rest. To the east, from the west, from the west. On a quest, never rest. About that work, dog. About it, I'm obsessed. Yeah. Sabbath morning, rise and shine, hit the block, make it hot, shake them down. We go at it till about four, five o'clock. Warfare, got my gear, I'm prepared for the op. And we talk it, how we walk it, yeah, that's just how we rock. Friday night, gotta rest, in the morning, hit the block, shake them down. We go at it till about four, five o'clock. Warfare, got my gear, I'm prepared uh, yeah, for the yeah. op. And we talk it, how we walk it, yeah, uh, that's just how we rock. Hit the block, make it hot, they be shocked, that's a watch. Watch a doctor, head chop, body drop, get the mop. This is a jam, this a bop for the flock, top of top. How much love, that's a lot. On the quest, not a yacht. Got a Glock, it don't pop, that's a prop. Never stop, ain't no fear in the mirror. Check your spirit, watch. We just pick a corner, we any mighty mom. From here to California, we pull up at it's a corner. Corner, kamikaze, sliding like a veil. Your bells, if you try to play the prophet, you gon' play yourself. Saturday to day to day, we on the way with help. Big soldier, we take orders like okay, what else? Check the stats, all facts, never cap. We be everywhere we at, on the map, in the trap. Me and Ja, back to back, boots, black, script, strap. This is with that this and that. Friday night, take a nap. We wake up, it's a wrap. Sabbath morning, rise and shine, hit the block, make it hot, shake them down. We go at it till about four, five o'clock. Warfare, got my gear, I'm prepared for the op. And we talk it, how we walk it, yeah, that's just how we rock. Friday night, gotta rest in the morning, hit the block, shake them down. We go at it till about four, five o'clock. Warfare, got my gear, I'm prepared for the op. And we talk it, how we walk it, yeah, that's just how we rock. Sabbath morning, rise and shine, hit the block, make it hot. Take over nations behind me. Guys, have your favorite.
rapping superhero running to mommy. Gosh, what is that you wearing purple Armani? In captivity, all I could do is crush a beer can. Now I can crush your automobile with my bare hands. Don't take no for an answer, I'm a valiant man. Loyalty, loyalty, turn your doctrine to sand. They want me to be weak, say I look mean. Telling me to keep my voice down in that screen. Yeah, I be flipping out just like a magazine. And when I cry a lot, I let out purple steam. In the world we was low, and now we all winners. The Lord coming back out with his purple Avengers. Round us out of Babylon, we was small, now we tall. Shot down in the street, now the bullets just fall. Y'all take one for the team, for the team. Do it for my nation, you know what I mean? I just won't break, I'm a king. I'm a king. I turn purple, I don't turn green. Turn green. When it's war to my face, turn me. Turn me. You heard a Bruce Banner? Well, I'm the purple hub. This for all my lions, donkeys, rose, and rhinos. Ain't no Captain America, call me Captain Shiloh. Agile and black as a panther, but I also fly though. Often mistaken for Bruce Leroy, cause I got the high glow. Breaking God's commandments made a stupid man. Not forsaken God's commandments made a superman. Atrocities our enemies won't do again. But feeling froggy, wanna leap, gon' do it then. I ain't feeling boastful, I roast you with the tweak of my thoughts. Hiding up in the cliffs, thinking you won't get caught. Straight melting your flesh, turn your bones to broth. That's the power we get when we come back to laws. Are you religions under the submission? We the children of the circumcision. The definition of God witnesses. No superstition, nothing fictitious. Y'all take one for the team, for the team. Do it for my nation, you know what I mean? I just won't break, I'm a king. I'm a king. I turn purple, I don't turn green. Turn green. When it's war to my face, turn me. Turn me. You heard a Bruce Banner? Well, I'm the purple hub. H-U-L-K, yeah, that's me. I'm in a building just like wall installation. Esau, IBMs can't stop my salvation. Damn them tight shorts, it's fringes on my garment. The law's revived and they're not departing. I'm seeing more purple than the Jordan Downs. You can see my footprints in them foreign towns. Party with veterans like a purple state. Putting my purple brick in like every day. You're guys looking over mountains up in Aspen. Yeah, we apply the scriptures for anybody accent. Banks of black Jews, lavender skin. Oppression make me mad fighting for the son of men no weapon form against me yeah that's real talk cut from a purple cloth yeah i'm the purple hawk y'all take one for the team for the team do it for my nation you know what i mean i just won't break i'm a king i'm a king i turn purple i don't turn green turn green when it's war to my face turn me turn me you heard a bruce banner well i'm the purple hawk uh 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 yeah Precepts in my brain, I got purple veins. Man, them Israelites sharp in them purple things. See me out on Grape Street and watch purple garments. Crying loud like the Philharmonic. Amalek wish he could morph into a super Jew. Like Justin Heston and Moses and David Banner do. We had sons of God, scoffers can't stand us. Ethan tripping about to get tested on canvas. We gather together like Transformers. Like the purple Voltron you see on the poster. Mind must alone swollen, casting down imagination. Overturning Babylon to plantation. I'm the purple hope, attitude stank toward oppression. Hey. Trusting Esau's tradition like a circle of obsession. Investigated by COINTEL Pro, but never stressing. Uh. Captivities and curse for salvation is a blessing. Yeah. Y'all take one for the team, for the team. Do it for my nation, you know I mean? I just won't break, I'm a king. I'm a king. I turn purple, I don't turn green. Turn green. When it's war to my face, turn me. Turn me. You heard a Bruce Banner? Well, I'm the purple hope. Left man is. It's a holy day, time. It's a high holy day. I ain't worried about nothing. I throw my sorrows away. I know that Esau gon' stress me. Don't let that get in my way. Might have to slave in the morning, but tonight I'm gonna play. Oh, man, two days a day. The Lord has a day. Insane if you don't keep the laws on this day. Shuff up if you power raining on my parade. You don't vibe with my vibes. You can go and fix your face. I've been waiting all week, I've been waiting all month, someone best to drink, dance it till the sun comes up. I've been waiting all week, I've been waiting all month, someone pass the plate, party till the sun comes up. High holy day, it's a high holy day, we gon' celebrate gladly and put our sorrows away. Yeah, high holy day, it's a high holy day, we gon' celebrate gladly and put our sorrows away. Yeah. I just hit the jackpot, yeah. Esau gave me days off, yeah. How could you be in a bad mood? Check your attitude before you come around. Hey, 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 hey. They ever told me I clean my place.
like that you can't even see me. When I open my mouth, you run dead like I got a mouth full of gold teeth. We cut them up, then we let them know. Building them up to go out and show. And then good, we ain't no more. No. We stomped his ass right through the flow. 12 tries, I'm calling now. Yelling repent with a big shot. Time to realize that you've been sodomized with all the lies. <laughs> You so body, 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 huh? That you want it all. I'm talking dumb cash and honey cash withdrawals. Teflons, bullets bouncing off. Talking ass fat, that she be dropping jaws, huh? Wanna drag race some expensive cars, don't you? That's vanity in your own barrage, pointless. Like a broken pencil, flying continental. Don't know your potential, let me show you then. With a chosen seed out of Abraham. You follow the crowd that follows Satan. Gotta follow laws, no negotiation. It's the key to my heaven, we fighting for. Men put on your armors, boys, hurt up your sword. It's the final hours, you don't wanna record. No world star, but this world's ours. Live in the matin. Live in. Tu baga o bezé. O bezé. No gain. No gain. Watch it, they've been a punu. Punu. Timon is guy, no ye. Live it. Deep Levi. Live it. Ah! It's vanity. Everything you want is vanity. I'd rather give it with charity than with my own. It's vanity. Man, come on. It's vanity, everything you want is vanity. I'd rather give it with charity than with my own. It's vanity. What about my house? It's vanity. What about my car? It's vanity. Even though I keep walking. It's vanity. All your desire is vanity. I'm the best of the job. It's vanity. Some people do my own. It's vanity. In vanity, it's nothing if you don't have charity. Vanity. 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 
Long. 
We make it happen. Yeah. By any means, I'm with my team. Ain't no distraction. No. That Bible, my tool, and we trigger happy because we about that action. We about that act. I want the kingdom and I want it all and no not a fraction. No not a fraction. Cause we make it happen. We make it, we make it, yeah, we make it happen. Yeah. By any means, I'm with my team, ain't no distraction. Ain't no distraction. That Bible, my weapon, got scriptural ammo and I get to clapping. I want the kingdom and I want it all and no not a fraction. No not a fraction. Cause we make it happen. We make it Cause we made it happen. No, we made it happen. We made it happen. Yeah, we made it happen. I can't lose a brother. Got love for my brother. I'm not with subtraction. Two better than one. This not by the color. Yeah, we not racist. In case you were curious. Curious dude. Keep checking for bloodline. What is your pedigree? Point black period. Who you and three? If you not in the truth. Who you alone? You would think it's mysterious. Wait, mysterious. You would say we a cult. No, no, no. But we no. know you're delirious. Nigga, you crazy. I would give a shout out. Say where you at. But I'm holding my tongue. I ain't saying nothing. The last time I did that, um, the niggas are gone. We make it happen, yeah. By any yeah. means, I'm with my team, ain't no distraction. No. That Bible my tool and we trigger happy cause we bout that action. We bout that action. I want the kingdom and I want it all and no not a fraction. No not a fraction. Cause we make it happen. We make it, we make it, yeah, we make it happen. Yeah. By any means, I'm with my team, ain't no distraction. Ain't no distraction. That Bible my weapon got stepped to an ammo and I get to clapping. I want the kingdom and I want it all and no not a fraction. No not a fraction. Yeah. Cause we make it happen. We make it. Cause we make it Many a call, you know the rest You can repent or perish yeah. Man, you was born to be zealous But instead, you'd rather be careless yeah. Emotional, man, you rebellious yeah. Not vigilant, lacking awareness yeah. You are walking dead, no lies in your head A body just walking right early yeah. It's going down, boots to ground You know we bringing the thunder it's going We trying down. to ask, attract the division Cause you know it's strength in numbers When Christ come back, we on the tech We go from fishes to hunters When Christ come back, we on the tech We go from fishes to hunters we Make it happen. Yeah. By any yeah. means, I'm with my team, ain't no distraction. No. That Bible my tool and we trigger happy cause we bout that action. We bout that action. I want the kingdom and I want it all and no not a fraction. No not a fraction. Cause we make it happen. We make it, we make it, yeah, we make it happen. Yeah. By any means, I'm with my team, ain't no distraction. Ain't no distraction. That Bible my weapon got stepped to an ammo and I get to clapping. I want the kingdom and I want it all and no not a fraction. No not a fraction. Cause we make it happen. We make it. Cause we, we make, make it happen, it's necessary Can't mess with no rat like Tom and Jerry I cannot hang around men who's acting like women Hell out of here, Tyler Perry I here. said what I said, no apology yep. You gonna burn in your side of me yep. I ain't with the murmur, my bob on my burning You know what sit on the side of me You ain't never seen a side of me I got a Harvey Dent side of me You gotta prove me like Christ of the Father If you wanna sit on the side of me Y'all must be bored cause y'all playing games The kingdom is now a monopoly I'm trying to be like the prodigy Cause we make it happen like prophecy yeah. We make it happen yeah. By any means, yeah. I'm with my team, ain't no distraction no. That Bible my tool and we trigger happy cause we bout that action We bout that action I want the kingdom and I want it all and no not a fraction No not a fraction Cause we make it happen We make it, we make it Yeah, we make it happen Yeah by any means, I'm with my team, ain't no distraction. Ain't no distraction. That Bible my weapon got stepped to an ammo and I get to clapping. I want the kingdom and I want it all and no not a fraction. No not a fraction. Cause we make it happen. We make it cause we make it. Take it a level up. Take it a level up. Hey, oh, oh. you gotta level up. Hey, oh, oh. you need to level up. Hey, oh, oh. let's go. I had to come about the world. Hey, I had to level up. I had to, level up. Uh, had to repent and change my ways. You know, etc. Et uh, stop being a nigga. Live like a king. Take it a level up. You gotta level up. Stop blaming the man. Get with the plan. You need to level up. Level up, 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 stop being a nigga, live like a king, take it a level up, let's go, stop blaming the man, get with the plan, you gotta level up, ayy, 
I'm tired of being abased. I took you to level up. I found a lower the most high. There ain't no better love. There ain't no better love. You cut the music, man. You supposed to, you know, loop it. Hey, man, I just, I want to take a quick moment. We live, right? Everybody can see me? All praises. Everybody pray for the IT team here in IUIC, Oklahoma. Send up prayers. Fast and pray for the IT team. Please. They got the spirit of New York on them right now. Damn. Uh, <laughs> but, hey, we back. Casting down imaginations. All praises be to the most high God. We back in this thing. New time, y'all. We used to be, you know, nighttime. Now, now we in the daytime. Now y'all gonna get to see us in the day. Some of y'all gonna get to hate us during the day. Um, but all praises. We back, casting down imaginations. Uh, it's your brother, Captain Nazariah. To my right, I got... Officer Yawasapa. Y'all know Yawasapa. And over there in the corner, we got Officer Abiya. And then... I got the brother Isaiah reading. So all praises be to the most high God. We're going we gonna to hop right into this thing. Give me uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Today's topic is God's whom our fathers knew not. God's whom our fathers knew not. So let's start there. 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, and we're going to start at verse 4. But before you read that, remember, the phone lines are open. 405-293-2029. Again, that's 405-293-2029. Don't be afraid. Call in. Go ahead. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 4. Come on. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. The Bible tells us the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Come on. But mighty through God. But mighty through God, read. To the pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of strongholds. This Bible is meant to pull down all the strongholds like Christianity. Christianity. Like Islam. Like all the strongholds that we have that plague our people. And there's a reason why our people walk around outside simple as hell, which we're going to touch today. We go, oh, yeah, we're going to get on Islam and Christianity today. Gods are whom our fathers did not know. We, 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 they didn't worship these guys. They worshiped other guys, but... These guys today got our people looking simple as hell. Read on. Casting down imagination. Casting down imagination. This Bible is going to cast down all the imaginations, all the vain thoughts, the foolish, the foolish thoughts that have been implanted in our people's mind. Like That's Christ, what this Bible like do. Like Christ is a white man. Like Christ, right. Christ, Christ is a white man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you could be a, a homosexual. Foolish thought. <laughs> or, in fact, you could be a homosexual. Right. Oh. <laughs> Don't even get me started with that one. Read on. And every high thing that exalted exalted itself against the knowledge of God. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Come on. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And it brings into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So now, watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 32. We're going to start at first 16. Deuteronomy <clears throat> the 32nd chapter and the 16th verse. Because y'all y'all might think I just made the title up. Let's see. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 16. Come on. They provoked him to jealousy 
with strange gods. That's our people. That's blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. We provoke God to jealousy with strange gods. Read on. With abominations provoked they him to anger. With abominations. All this the vile stuff, especially some of the stuff you're going to see today, it's abominations. Read on. They sacrifice unto devils. They sacrifice unto devils. Come on. Not to God. Not to God. Read. To gods whom they knew not. To gods whom they knew not. Read. To new gods that came newly up. Read. Whom your fathers feared not. Whom your fathers feared not. Not. Because when we came out of Egypt, we had the one true living God who did all the uh, uh, all the uh, the mighty works that, that he had Moses do. We seen that. We came out of Egypt and we decided to do what? Worship other gods. Worship other deities. Whom our fathers didn't fear. That Moses didn't fear them gods. Abraham didn't fear them gods. Jacob and Isaac didn't fear them gods. Same thing with us today. Christ didn't fear them other gods. The apostles didn't feel them other gods, but what our simple behinds do? We run right after it. We run right after it. So give me that first article. Let's start here. Give me it's the History Fear Channel. Hmm. The History Channel Mecca. Remember, the phone lines are open, 405-293-2029. All right, give me that. You uh, start at, yeah, five minutes and 14 seconds. We're going to talk about Islam here for a second because... Many of our people are caught up in the Islamic religion, but it's not for the black man. Right. It is not the black man's religion. Right. They have nothing to do with you black people. It's just for some reason, our people think that that is the way. Muhammad is the way. No, no, no. It's not the way, the truth and the light. It is idolatry. It is abomination. You are worshiping the Arab of, you're worshiping the religion of your oppressor, your slave master. And yes, it is a stone. It is a rock that you serve. It is. A, I know a lot of people like say, no, it's, we don't worship. Even when you watch the video, they say that. Oh, it's not the Kaaba that they actually they worship. No, you're worshiping it. They don't even keep. They don't even keep that. They faking that. <laughs> Our people faking all the religious things. Right, all of them <laughs> for money. And, and when you and and when you look at it, it's all for some type of monetary gain. It's all for some type of monetary gain when you look at it. Islam. I mean, damn, I, I couldn't find a video. It was a video but I they seen. Still sell, yeah. yeah. They still sell dope. They, <laughs> they still, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, uh, rap music. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Ain't Beanie Siegel? Ain't he's a... Um, no, freeway. Oh, Freeway. Freeway. He's a uh, Muslim. Mm -hmm. Se talk about selling drugs to his people, uh, sleeping with multiple women. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, horn them and leaving them. Mm. So that's what um, the Muslims um, represent? No, they don't. It was a video. I said, I can't no, they don't. I couldn't find it. <laughs> and y'all probably know what I'm talking about when I seen it. it, he, was, it was a, he was in the car, and he pulled out some money. He was like, yeah, I got a pocket full of faith. It's all money with our people when it comes to these other gods and, and pimping our people. And the simple, the, uh, uh, the majority, the masses of our people flock after these dudes. And we're going to get after you, you wicked-ass pastors. I'm going to say it like that. You wicked pastors. Who are we going to talk about? Today's your day. We're going to talk truth. about you. All right, play that. Uh, five minutes and 14 seconds. Let's, 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 let's get some insight on Islam a little bit. The rock that they worship. And I've said it before. They throw rocks at a rock. Uh, we're we going we gonna to touch it. Read that. I mean, I this play is that. probably an essential part of the religious mentality of human spirituality. In Islam, that center is there in the city of Mecca, centered on the house towards which all Muslims pray. Look at it, all the people Muslims bowing down to the stone. They worship what it represents, the one God. He said they don't worship the stone, they, they worship what it represents. Pause that, give me Exodus 20. Stone. Give me Exodus 20. Start at verse 4. And half you Negroes claiming that you Islam ain't even been over there. Right. <laughs> half our people talk about they had the Islamic faith. <laughs> in they, a while. Hey, they ain't going to let them over there. <laughs> talk about you nation of Islam. You ain't even been to Mecca. Over there, end up in slavery somewhere. And it's a requirement. <laughs> Go over there and end up in slavery. <laughs> people don't recognize y'all. At all. They do not recognize. What, what they call them over here? Do you know the term? I can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got to find it. I got to find it. Because it's a different name over there than the set they call, over they call, they call them Negroes. It's the same. It means the same, though. <laughs> Niggas. It means the same. Nation of Islam over here. And then it's mm. 
Uh, read that. Exodus 20, verse 4. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Now, for the simple out there, this ain't talking about you can't have images. <laughs> and we're going to see as we read on. Read. Or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Read. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Thou shalt not what? Bow down thyself to them. It says, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. You just see it, thousands of people bowing down to a rock. They say, oh, we don't worship the rock. No, you worship the rock. You bow yourself down to the rock. You cleave to the rock. You love the rock. The rock is your God. Read on. Nor serve them. Nor serve them. That was a commandment straight out the Bible. That lets you know this, this mess is idolatry, and our people foolishly run after it. Like we read in Deuteronomy, the 32nd chapter, where it says, new gods brought up. Our people sacrificed to devils. Yeah, half y'all ain't even been over there. Like you said, you can't, yeah, y'all can't even go over there. They don't even recognize y'all. They don't recognize them at all. Now, them people hate our guts, <laughs> including you. They hate the black, Hispanic, and Native American man. These people hate us. The scriptures say the other nation hate us. Why? Because the Most High picked us to be the best nation out of all the nations on earth. All right, then. Jump to 23 minutes and 25 seconds. Let's get some more. We're going to get some more. This ain't your religion, black man. <laughs> this is not the black man. This is the Arab man's religion. Watch this. Uh, 23, 25. Then on aching legs and swollen feet. So pause it. This is a, so now he's talking about a tradition that they do when they go, when you, this hajj that you are required to do as a, as in the Islamic faith. It's a path that they have to walk seven times. Play it on. Then on aching legs and swollen feet, pilgrims perform another ritual called the sa'i or striving. It's called the sa'id or striving. In this rite, pilgrims walk between two hilltops seven times. Reliving the heroic effort of Hagar, searching for water in the desert. They made this a tradition. Why pause it? Hagar. Because they know where they come from. They know who they are. They know this is their religion, they God. They, they made this a tradition. You got to walk this seven times to honor their foremother, made it, Hagar. Made that crap up. Give me Genesis 16. Play on. We're going to read that, though. They know where they come from. By Abraham in this desolate valley. Hagar started getting desperate because her son was very thirsty. So she started running back and forth between these two hills to look for this water. Up until the 1950s, pilgrims walked between these hills right out on the street. Today, they are enclosed within the massive structure of the Great Pause it. They enclosed it. They made a whole memorial because... Ishmael knows exactly where they came from. Ishmael knows exactly who they are. They know what they worship. They know what they celebrate. It's unique. It's our people that's foolish that don't know that chase after the other nation's religions. Give me that Genesis 16. Genesis 16, read verse 11. Genesis chapter 16 and verse 11. Come on. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, Said unto who? Hagar, read. Behold, thou art with child and shall bear a son and shall call his name Ishmael. They know that they come from Ishmael. They'll tell you. They'll say, yeah, we, we descend from Ishmael. Read on. Because the Lord had heard thy affliction, mm. and he will be a wild man. He will be a what? A wild man. He will be a wild man. He will be a wild man. I mean, he's the only human being you know that would strap his bomb, strap a bomb to his chest and run into a crowd talking you about Allah see, Akbar. First, let us <laughs> Talking about Allah Abba and kill everybody. Negroes ain't doing that. No. <laughs> Negroes is not doing that. No, sir. <laughs> but you, but you, no, but you sir. Islam. You Islam, though. <laughs> you up here Islamic. <laughs> you jihad, huh? <laughs> you ain't, that ain't you. <laughs> but we foolishly run after these gods. I never met a jihad. <laughs> Ever. I talked to a lot of so-called Muslims. I have so-called Muslims in my family. None of them was jihad. Mm. Where is Jihad at? Listen, Islam is, I want to meet him. Islam is the penitentiary religion. <laughs> you go to the pen, you get incarcerated. And you click up. And you click up, and you you tired of white Jesus. So Islam is the only other way. And then you come out Islam Islamic. 
survival <laughs> tactics. <laughs> right. It is a penitentiary religion for black folks. Watch this. Jump down to uh, 4520. Watch this. 4520. 45 minutes and 20 seconds. Watch this. This is another thing. Because, yes, they worship a rock. And, yes, they throw rocks at a rock. I say, I've said it many times. They throw rocks at a rock. Here, here's the proof. They throw rock. That is one of the rituals to throw rocks at a rock. Play that. They are enclosed within the massive structure of the Great Mosque. Mm. They hustle between these two. No, no, go down to 45 minutes and 20 seconds. Stay with me, IT. The largest of the three stone pillars. When God asked so Abraham all these to people his son, most Muslims believe it was Ishmael, Come the here. elder son. Hold on, pause. In the they, Bible. And this is how you know this is an Arab tradition. This is Arab religion. They believe Ishmael was the one that he was trying to sacrifice. No, the Bible says Isaac. It clearly says Isaac. But read on. This is why they're trying to justify why they throw rocks at a rock. <laughs> why they worship a rock a bit, and they throw rocks at a rock. This one more time. Go back a little bit. Most largest of the three stone pillars. When God asked Abraham to sacrifice his son, most Muslims believe it was Ishmael, the elder son. In the Bible story, it was Isaac. Either way, it would have been agonizing for Abraham. All this, all this nonsense. Keep playing. Say, Keep way, playing. It's been, it's been, pre hold on, press pause. He said, either way, it would have been hard for Isaac. Said this, didn't he send him up? Then he sent all He said, look, that's your man. Do what you want with him. The kid in her left. Then he was he worried? Mm. Mm. I don't think so. Read on. Play on. They trying to justify. This is the heathen trying to justify their foolishness of why they throw rocks at a rock. Read. Play on. He started having some doubts, and he realized that these doubts were really coming. From this the is the justification of Satan. We don't know exactly what Satan would have said, but it was something like, "What do you think you're doing, killing your son? Are you crazy?" He gets very angry when he throws a stone at So why all these heathens? Time, this is the religion of the Arabs, the heathens, people. not and the and black man. Time he comes again, so what they do with the stone? So they throw rocks at a rock. Why? Because Abraham threw a rock at Satan. Whenever he... The ritual is uh, Pause it. Whenever he was uh, sacrificing, quote unquote, Isaac, Satan was tempting him, so he threw a rock at Satan. You're right. What scripture? You're exactly right. What scripture is that? Matter of fact, I got a scripture for you. Give me Jeremiah. <laughs> Give me Jeremiah 3. What the hell? Give me Jeremiah. Give Jeremiah 2 in verse 27. IT, find that scripture. <laughs> Y'all yeah. find that scripture for but me. But play it. I want to show that these, this is what these, these foolish people, these heathens do. Play it. Hudge, people react. They throw rocks at a rock. You hear the rocks hitting. The Jumrat. They in throw days to come. They throw rocks. You already passed it back up a little bit. Yeah, no, no, right there, right there. They throw rocks a moral at a rock. That the believer affirms that there is. All right, is read that. Good. I'm done with that. Read that. Give me that. Jeremiah two and twenty seven. So yes, the Islam wait, worships. Wait, wait. I want to see this image. Go back to the image. Go back to the drawing rocks. I want to. I want to show y'all something real quick. Just go back to the image. This is a side note, Cap. Let me just pause it to where they drawing the rocks. I'm talking about the the uh, right there. All right, stay right there. Do you see them black people? Every time they say the Middle East, like they white people out there. Right, 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 right. They always say Middle East in crisis. Middle East and say he's like light-skinned and, you know, he's not black. <laughs> yeah. Do they know the only person on the earth was not originally black was Esau? That's the it. So-called white man. That's it. The, all the other nations is black people. All of them were black. Black unto the ground. So I want y'all to see that. I just wanted, this is just a side note. I just wanted y'all to see that. They, they don't show that on TV. They always show the light-skinned right, right. Arabs, the light-skinned Chinese, the light-skinned Mexicans. The, the Greek, the Greek babies. Right. It's all... Um, I wanted to say also, you remember when they were explaining the Abraham story, right? The white man did the Jedi mind trick because you see these Arabs throwing the rock at it. But when they were explaining the story in the Bible, Abraham was white. Isaac was white. The kid next to him that was supposed to be Ishmael was white. 
then why does it smell dark skinned? It? <laughs> Jedi mind trick. They because he saw the devil. The devil. And, and, and this, and we're gonna get to it. This is this is that's Christianity. Hey, Cap, they <laughs> saying that we stupid. We ain't gonna get it. They could just do stuff like this to us. Yes. Oh, them yes. niggas stupid. They ain't gonna catch it. Just play it. They ain't gonna they catch ain't gonna see. They ain't gonna even see it. Them niggas stupid. Them dummies. We've been fooling them for hundreds and hundreds of years. They ain't gonna catch all that. We just put this together and play it. They ain't gonna, I just caught it. I seen it. Mm, mm, you know what mm, I'm saying? Mm. Stop. Let's stop being stupid. Y'all wake up. Right. Play on. This is not a moral statement that so the believer affirms at a rock. That there is all right, good read that. We done with this evil. video. Read that. Jeremiah two and twenty seven. All you that worship Islam, this is you. Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 27. You in the faith of Islam. And get mad. Get get mad and repent. Read. Saying to a stock. Saying to a stock. Come on. Thou art my father. Read. And to a stone. And to a what? To a stone. And to a stone. Read. Thou hast brought me Thou forth. Thou hast brought me forth. Come on. For they have turned their back unto me. And that's what our people do. That worship that, that are in these, these foolish religions. You turn your back to God. You turn your back to God. Read, uh, jump down, chapter 3, read verse 1. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 1. They say, if a man put away his wife, and she go from him and become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Shall not that land be greatly polluted? Come on. But thou hast played the harlot. We as a people have played the harlot. We jumping from religion to religion to religion. When we had our God, we had the one true living God. But we we want this God. We want to dabble in that God, and we want to do this, and we want to we want to be like the other nations. Come on, thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, and return again to me," said the Lord. Read. Lift up thine eyes into the high places, and see where thou hast not been lined with. Mm. In the ways hast thou set for them. As the Arabian in the wilderness. Just like with the video we just seen, the Arabian in the wilderness. That is their religion. They in the wilderness throwing rocks at a rock, talking about we 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 can't, we we defeating the Satan. We defeating the devil. You know how simple that is? You fool, you gotta be foolish. So you mean to tell me that that's how we beat the devil? That's how we beat Satan. We throw rocks at a rock. You gotta be simple as hell. And our people follow after that nonsense. Mm. Our people follow after that foolishness. Read on. And thou hast polluted the land with thy whoredoms and with thy wickedness. With thy whoredoms and with thy wickedness. Let me, uh, Leviticus 26 and 1. Leviticus 26 and 1. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 1. Come on. Ye shall make you no idols nor graven images. It says ye shall make you no idols, no graven images. Images, come on. Neither rear you up a standing image, neither shall you set up any image of a stone in any your land. image of a stone. And that wasn't supposed to be us, but we walk after the foolishness of these other nations. They foolish as hell. You know how simple they, they in there. They out there with it was other parts in the video. They out there with a freaking bed sheet on, throwing <laughs> rocks at a rock. <laughs> you know how simple you look. <laughs> Like, a lot of people don't see it because y'all simple as hell. And that's the religion that y'all follow. That's I know the it. God y'all serve. All that must over there. They ain't got no deodorant on. They don't you see, there was no thousands blood. of people. Stink. I know, like, there's onions and there was thousands of people. smelling over there. I know it stink over there. Now, watch this. Now, this, now it gets even more confusing with this. this, this and it, our people see that stuff, and this is what happened. Play that. Play the priest video. Female priest. priest so hold on, pause that. So now, days. our people, the foolishness of these uh, uh, heathens, our people run with it, and now they all jacked up and confused. And I'm telling you, keep watching these other guys. You're going to be like this lady right here. Play that. <laughs> Play that. A former female priest who spent more than two decades in the Episcopal Church is now She was a out priest for 20 years. Because she embraced another faith. Today, Ann Holmes Redding calls herself both a Christian and a Muslim. Both. Her move to Islam. <laughs> she both. That's how, how confused our people are. She worshiped two guys now. <laughs> how? She's a Christian and a Muslim. This is the foolishness of the heathen. 
This is that foolishness. This is that nonsense. We have played the harlot. We jump from religion to religion to religion instead of just worshiping the one true God, the, the one living God who said, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Play on. Redding, calls Go ahead. Both when, a a when a nation, a when the most high said we are shaking up the head, bro, he meant it. <laughs> we are shaking up the head like we are, we are great. Ah, like, uh, like uh, this a disgrace. <laughs> We've been over here the longest out of all the other nations that came over here. Ain't got nothing. Still don't got nothing. Still asking for handouts. Still uh, uh, asking, teach me who my God is. Tell me who my God is. Tell me how to get here. Tell me how to do this. I need money. I need this. I need that. Mm. And the nations, other nations come over here and just buy stores, get this, go to school, do it. And they just prosper. Why is that? Mm. Why is that? I'm going to get a scripture here in a minute. Play on. Their faith. Today, Ann Holmes Redding calls herself both a Christian and a Muslim. But her move to Islam came at a very high price. Dan Harris reports on this woman's test of faith. Ain't no damn test of faith. Look can't, at her. Can't tell her Holmes nothing. Redding was nothing. an Episcopal priest for 25 years until a radical test of faith. <laughs> Several years ago, while she was mourning the death of her mother, she was trying out an Islamic meditation technique that she'd learned in an interfaith class. And Pause that, it. An uh, Islamic says, meditation technique. She was in there meditating. That, 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 that ain't God that you're talking to. Because watch this, it gets, it gets worse at who, who she says led her to Islam. Play on. Technique that she learned in an interfaith class. And that, she says, is when it happened. It came with such clarity and such power that I could understand it as nothing else but uh, an invitation from God. That was Satan. She Can, says it was. Go ahead. Jesus Can I get a scripture? Go ahead. Can I please get a scripture? That was the invitation. She was in deep these meditation. Lie and <laughs> she was in deep meditation. Cap, you know these people be lying. Be lying. They they be like, you don't know her. I know God. <laughs> God ain't do that. And God don't change. God don't lie. So either God lying or she lying. Who you going to bet with? <laughs> right, right. She's lying. I'm going to tell you that right now because I got the scripture for you. Get of Deuteronomy. Uh, four and start at verse uh, 15. Because she said, God told her to do this. God, it was God, it was clear as day. <laughs> you know, you don't know her. She, 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 all, she you, all you know is she was, she could have been in the highest hell for all you know. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about I had a revelation from God. She, she had, mourning the death of her mother. You know, she could have been in the highest hell. Talking about, yeah, Islamic. She look crazy as hell. She uh, she needs to be on some damn pills. So I guarantee this woman crazy. The woman crazy. She don't got no. I guarantee she don't got a husband. Got no damn. No, she got no husband, bro. She crazy. She probably ran them all off. Yeah, I said it. She's a lovely wife. Read that in verse uh, fifteen. Deuteronomy chapter four and verse fifteen. Mm -hmm. Take ye therefore good heed unto yourselves. This is the most high speaking to us, right? You say, take good heed of yourselves. Read. For ye saw no manner of similitude on the day that the Lord spake unto you in Horeb. Read. Out of the midst of the fire. Go ahead, keep reading. Least ye corrupt yourselves. Did you what? Least ye corrupt yourselves. Read. And make you a graven image. Read. And the similitude of any figure. Believe it or not, that's idolatry. That Islam is idolatry, period. Right. Read. Christianity is idolatry. All of it's read. idolatry. He's, she dumped Christianity. And, yeah, she Christianity. And, uh, I never heard of this before. <laughs> you pull a waffle right here, bro. Read. <laughs> the likeness of male or female. Uh-huh. Don't worship none of them, male or female. The Read. likeness of any beast that is on the earth. Uh -huh. The likeness of any winged fowl that flieth in the air. Mm -hmm. The likeness of anything that creepeth on the ground. So the Most High is telling us what not to do. Don't make a graven image and bow down to it. Don't worship these things. He's very specific of what he's telling you what not to do. So let's keep reading. Let's see if God told her to do this. Read. The likeness of any fish that is in the waters beneath the earth. Come on. And least thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven. Uh-huh. And when thou seest the sun, 
and the moon and the stars. Which all other nations see too. Read. Even all the host of heaven mm -hmm. should us be driven to worship them. You should not be you should not be worshiping them. Read. And serve them, mm -hmm. which the Lord thy God have divided unto all nations under the whole heaven. He gave that to them. They supposed to be right. worshiping that stuff. But watch what he said about us. They supposed to be worshiping the sun, moon. He don't care about them. Exactly. He can, that's, we, the, that's the point. That's the point. <laughs> he don't care about them. But watch this. Read. But the Lord have taken you. He's what? Have taken you. He had taken us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Us, read, and brought you forth out of the iron furnace, mm -hmm. even out of Egypt. Egypt. What other nation he brought out of Egypt? But the Israelites. Read. To be unto him a people of inheritance. A people of an inheritance. Yes, us. Read. As ye are this day. You don't know you special? You black, Spanish, name, man. You a special people. God chose you. Read. Furthermore. The Lord was angry with me for your sakes. Uh huh. This and is more speaking to the children of Israel. Read. And swore, I'm sorry, and swore that I should not go over Jordan. Uh huh. And that I should not go unto the good land. Read. Which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. Read. But I must die in this land. Come on. I must not go over Jordan. Because Moses was being disobedient. Moses couldn't do what he wanted to do, he had to do what God said to do. So you know what God told him? You know what? And you know, Moses, you know what God said about Moses? He was faithful in all my house. But he he did something God said don't do. Right. So you know what he said? You know what? You're gonna die. You can go look at it, but you're gonna die right here. You ain't gonna cross this, you ain't gonna cross that water. Read. But ye shall go over and possess that good land. Mm -hmm. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of the Lord. Unless you what? Forget the covenant of the Lord your God. The covenant went into agreement with the most high God. His laws, statutes, commandments. We went into agreement. He said, unless you forget, read. Which he made with you. He made this with us. No other nation. Right. No other nation. He told them to go worship uh, the rocks and the stones and the stars and all that. We ain't supposed to be doing that. So I know God. Watch, read on. I'm going to show you how God feel about this. Read. And make you a graven image or uh -huh. the likeness of anything. What verse you at? I'm in verse 23. All right, we're almost there. Come on. Which the Lord thy God hath forbidden thee. Mm -hmm. For the Lord. He, he, he forbidden us. Mm. Cap, he said, I forbidden you. So how are you going to come and tell her, go, God, to, go God ahead and do what I to, told you not to do? God led me to Islam. Go over there and to, do what I told you not to do. That don't make no sense. Right. Read. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire. He's a what? Is a consuming fire. I thought he said it was uh, candy and strawberries and hugs <laughs> and love. He's like, he love, goes, love. What, that's what, a scary. What, what everybody be saying on Clubhouse? Oh God, it's just love. He just, he just, where's the love? The Bible just says he's a consuming fire. <laughs> I don't want to be hugged by a consuming fire. Do you want to be hugged by a fire? Hell no. Nah. I don't want to be hugged by that. The most I ain't playing. Read. Even a jealous God. He's a what? A jealous God. You know if your husband or your wife be stepping on you, that makes you mad. That makes you upset. Right. You jealous? You jealous of your husband or your wife? You understand? Mm. That's it on that. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Play on. It gets. It gets better. Oh no! It don't get better. It gets worse. It gets worse. But there's more. Teaching <laughs> from God. In fact, she says it was Jesus Himself who led her to. She Israel. said it was Jesus he Himself Jesus. that led him. Matter of fact, go back to Deuteronomy 32 real quick. <laughs> Give me Deuteronomy 32 real quick. Self. She said it, it was Jesus himself and you know what? that led her to Islam. God, could, look, listen to the confusion. This, this is the black woman. No, this is the black woman. Confused out of her damn mind. She made NBC News. She made the news. They, they know they're going to. Let's throw this out there to confuse the people even more. But see, and they justifying it. Because yeah, remember, the Reagan, he was like, let's show her test of faith. There ain't no test of faith. She's, she's a demon, and she's, and she's confused within the foolishness of the other nations. They religions. Give me that. Deuteronomy 32. Read uh, verse 18. Matter of fact, read verse 17 and 18. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 17. They sacrifice unto devils, mm. not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up. Whom your fathers feared not. Our fathers didn't fear this mess. 
Play on. Or read on. Of the rock that begot thee. It says, of the rock that begot thee. Come on. Thou art unmindful. That ain't Jesus that led her. That ain't the rock that begot us. That, as a matter of fact, hold that. Give me 1 Corinthians. Just say some of y'all confused. Give me 1 to Corinthians. lying self. They push this stuff. They push this stuff. Where they know this woman lying? 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. Just in case y'all confused who that rock is. Because Jesus didn't lead her to know Islam. <laughs> Jesus came preaching the commandments of right. God. Read that, 1 Corinthians 10 and 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. And did all drink the same spiritual drink? This is talking about Moses when we came out of the land of Egypt. When we read in Deuteronomy, that's what Mo, who Moses is talking to. He getting on to them because they was doing the same nonsense. Worshiping God, the same nonsense. They were doing the same crap right here. Worshiping gods that our fathers did not fear. Read. For they drank of the spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. That rock was Christ. So no, Christ didn't lead him to know is lead her to know Islam. Go back. Read Deuteronomy 32 again. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 17. Verse 18. Verse 18. Of the rock that begot thee, thou art unmindful. Mm. And has forgotten God that formed thee. That's what happened with her. She forgot God. Because that ain't Christ. That 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 she's unmindful of that. That Jesus did not lead you to know Islam. That was, matter of fact, get, get the picture of the prisoner. That's who led her to Islam. The right. devil, man. The devil led her to Islam. Her lust. Caesar Borgia. That's what led her to Islam. And you know what it's going to do, too? It's going to make other people, other women, other, other men want to do stupid stuff like this so they can get uh, coverage on the news. Right. It's just all this is. Because we, we want to seek our lust. I want, I want a news clip to talk about me. I'm going to make up something, too. That's all, they, all, she, all she did was yeah, make that up. Just pull up a new tab. And just type in. Just pull up a new tab. Type in Caesar Borgia. Type in White Christ. That, that's who led her Bro, to I'm going to tell you this. That lie is so deep. Say, like, I ain't told that. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. I just don't like, don't look at me. <laughs> that's, that's who. That, that man, right? That's who led her to Islam. <laughs> him right there. Him. All confusion, all manner of evil and wickedness. That's how she got led to Islam. So go back. Go back to the video. Go back to the video. There's some more. Play, play off. Mm. It was Jesus himself who <laughs> led her to Islam. Jesus him, you himself. Think Jesus led you to become a Muslim. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes. You're laughing. Because I know it doesn't make sense to people. Now, Jesus led you to be a monk. Praise in church. You saw that white man looked at him? five times a day to Allah. So she go to church and she go to the uh, Muslim mosque. <laughs> she go to both. You know how confused she was in the last shot? She was wearing her priest garb in the mosque. <laughs> she didn't even change oh. clothes. She went straight from church oh. to the mosque. She's Straight foolishness. Nuts. Straight nonsense. Give me wisdom of Solomon 15. I'm done with that. We we done with that video. Now she just goes on and talks about how she how how much sense it makes. She she's simple as hell. Give me wisdom of Solomon 15. Start at verse. Matter of fact, start up at verse. You're goofy. Uh let's start at verse. Start at verse 3. Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 15 and verse 3. For to know thee is perfect righteousness. To know who? To know God is perfect righteousness. And how do we know God? Hold that. Give me that. In case somebody confused. How do we know God? Give me First John. This is how you know God. Because these people don't know God. And yes, I'm talking to your Christian past. I'm talking to you that's in the Christian church every Sunday. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Who's looking right now? You don't know God unless you, unless you do this right here. Give me that. First John. You know what I want? Yep. Read that. It says, and to know thee is perfect righteousness. Give me that. This is the book of First John, chapter 3. Chapter 2, verse 3. Oh, 2, verse 3, I'm sorry. Uh, verse 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. This is how we know that we know God or we know Jesus. Because she didn't know Jesus. Then that wasn't Jesus that came to her. Because here's the stipulation, read. If we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. 
And one of the commandments we read earlier was, thou shalt have no other graven image before me to worship it. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. He gave, what we read in Deuteronomy, he gave the God, he gave that to the other nations. Right. He didn't give that to us. Right. Read that again. Book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. If we keep his commandments. Everything in this book. Not just the 10. Not just the big 10. Like your, your, your boy Creflo. We're going to get on him. No. Not just the big 10. All the commandments. Hey, what that is? Schizo Schizophrenic? That's that God. He, oh, yeah. You, oh, the, the schizophrenic God? That's what, that she, that's what she the served. Split, the split God. That's what she, she served. That, that, that was that like. The truth? The truth. That's a crazy God then. I'll be that, but that's the minds of our people. Who was there? Who was there when we was in bowling? And we, that was Uriel. And we was we was talking to a man, a pastor from Dallas. We were talking to a pastor. And I kid you not, I wish we had the video. I kid you not. He said God was a schizophrenic. Whoa. Well, the God, they, they were God was a schizophrenic. The God, like they God were. had multiple personalities. That's why he said in the beginning. We, he said, we we made man like the way he says we made them in our image. See, the Son, God, and the Holy Ghost is three. See, he has split personality, and he's a pastor that has a church in Dallas. This is the crazy foolishness. This is the nonsense. This is that that we walk after the heathen. That foolishness, which we're gonna read. That's it's idolatry. It's abomination. And you look simple as hell. Now people believe it. That's why she thinks Jesus led her to Islam. Go back, read that. Wisdom of Solomon 3. And everybody verse around three. her hate her guts because nobody won't tell her. No, she, she got did. kicked out. They, they, they uh, pulled her down from being a priest, all that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but she still go to the church, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 15 and verse 3. Listen, listen, yes, these other religions will give you a headache. Our people, I'm telling you, our people are an astonishment. I see why Christ was like, but y'all are astonishment. Our people, boy, I tell you, I'm sitting here healing people. I'm raising people from the dead, and y'all still don't believe? Well, y'all are amazing. What, what, what did your boy say? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Read that. <laughs> For to know thee is perfect righteousness. It says to know thee is perfect righteousness. To know God is perfect righteousness. And you obtain that knowledge and that knowing by keeping God's commandments. Read on. Yay. Yay. To know thy power is the root of immortality. Mm. Read. For neither did the mis mischievous invention of man deceive us, nor any image spotted with divers colors, the, paint, the painter's fruitless labor. Mm. Read. The sight, the sight wherefore enticeth fools to lust after it. It says the sight whereof enticeth fools to lust after it. Read verse 4 again. Verse 4. For neither did the mischievous invention of man deceive us. Because the righteous, these are the, these are the nations, these are the gods that enticing, the wowing. It ain't going to deceive the righteous. But though a fool, they run after, like you said earlier, because of their lust. Like many people, pastors, they run to that Christianity to be pastors because of the lust of money. They see that money. Power. And that's why our people g give into that prosperity doctrine because they think they're going to get rich. Right. It's lust. They think, okay, if I sold this tie, pastor said that I'm going to get blessed with money. I'm going to get blessed. God is going to heal me. It's all lust. Hey. When God told you the proper way of healing, mm -hmm. fear him, mm -hmm. keep the commandments, and go take your behind to the doctor. Right. <laughs> what you about to say? No, I'm saying that that seed of with the uh, pastors, it comes with money, mm -hmm. power. Yes. They they want like they lust. They want the women. They get the women. They sleep with men's wives. They do this. They do this. We ain't seen this time and time and time again. Mm. You know they getting put out on front street by the the mistress. You know. Right. Right. The, the the one of the brothers, one of the pastors was like, I'm tired of this. You know what I'm saying? He put his wife on blast. On blast. He's still back with her. I don't get it. But right. Yeah. Yeah. He's, I don't yeah, know. Right. I, you know who I'm talking yeah, about? I know you're talking about. I can't think of his name. He put his wife on blast, and now he's back with her. For trying to get with another pastor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a, it's, 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 it's a circus. Mm, read on. Verse let, me, let me tell you something real quick before you go. It's not like we don't have these things that happen in Israel. These things happen in Israel, too. You have adultery. You have stuff that happen. But the thing is, we deal with it. That's the difference. We don't say God is dealing with you. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't say, no, you're not of God. You're the devil. Right. You know what I'm saying? Go sit your butt over there somewhere. No, nah, you got to get out. You got to get out. 
you got to get out. You know what I'm saying? Right. We deal with the issue. We don't have them shaking the Pam Marie with his left hand talking about, girl, you know what I'm saying? They, they, I, I just, right, right. That tamarine player. Whatever you call them in church, the, the gay dude. The choir director. The choir director. The choir director. The choir there you director. go. You know he. You know you know the choir director in the, in the churches. Right, because they, to they be, be having gay kids up in there wearing little dresses. He has porn, to be gay. performing all kind of crazy stuff. They the gay. Choir, the choir director has to be gay all the time. Every church you're going to, he has to be gay. I don't. Under, I don't get it. You gay? Get up there and direct the choir. I just need a gay person up there. He know how to shake the tambourine. All right, go ahead. All right, read on. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter fifteen and verse five. The sight whereof enticeth fools to lust after it. And so they desire the form of a dead image. Mm, it says they desire the form. That idol is dead. It's not alive. It's not real. <laughs> it has no life. Read on. That hath no breath. It has no breath. We worship the one true living God. Our God is alive right now. That God you throw, that rock you throwing a rock at is dead. It's a rock. <laughs> There's no life. An object. <laughs> that white image of, uh, uh, of Jesus that you worship, he dead. dead. He's gone. He has no life. Oh, Read on. <laughs> Verse 6. Both they that make them, they that desire them, and they that worship them mm. are lovers of evil you know what The Bible says, and all they, the ones that make them, the ones that uh, worship them, and the ones that desire them, they are, they are, work, they love evil things. That's why you be seeing all type of manner of evilness and wickedness up in these different religions. Christianity, Islam, you see all manner of evil. Why? Because read that verse again. It says they are lovers of what? They are lovers of evil things. Because they love evil things. Read on. And are worthy to have such things to trust upon. And guess what? They worthy to have such things to trust upon. Because it ain't going to save you. Because right. <laughs> it's not alive. Jump down to verse 13. Verse 13, for this man that of earthly matter maketh bridal uh, vessels and graven images, knoweth himself to offend above all others. Read. And all the enemies of thy people. It says, and all the enemies of thy people. Come on. That hold them in subjection. That hold them in subjection because a man just made this, this fashion, this idol out of earthly vessels and Gold. brutal and all kind of, basically out of earthly things. And the, our enemies, the heathens, they worship them. It says what? Are most foolish. They are most foolish. They foolish. That's why, and that's why you see our people be foolish as hell. Read on. And are more miserable than very babes. And they, look, you more miserable than very babes. Because, you know, babies, miserable. they can't walk, they can't talk, they can't move, they got to depend on somebody. You miserable like that, worshiping them idols. That's why she looks simple as hell. Talking about Jesus led me to Islam. He said, you worse. He said, you worse. <laughs> You're right. You worse. Read on. For they counted all the idols of the heathen to be gods. Our people count all the Damn. idols of the heathens to be gods. Read. Which neither have the use of eyes to see. They ain't got eyes to see, but they are God. That stone can't see. That little, that little cross with the little image of Jesus, that Jesus piece you got, he can't see. No. Just think. <laughs> Cap. How you can make something and then say, you took me out of my misery. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Right. No, you just took me out of my misery. We about to read it. We about to read it. Read on. Bow to you. <laughs> the fuck? Read on. Which neither have the use of eyes to see, nor noses to draw breath, nor ears to hear, nor fingers of hands to handle. And as for their feet, they are slow to go. Read. For man made them. It says, them, for man made them, read. And that... And he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned them. And he that borrowed his own spirit fashioned, a man fashioned them. Come on. But no man can make a God like unto himself. Read. For being mortal, he worketh a dead thing, which is with you wicked mortal, hands. You mortal, and you think you can make a God. <laughs> and you ain't a God. Right. Read on. You can't, even, you can't even stay alive past what God say you can go. Right. But you're creating a God. Read on. For he himself is better than the things which he worship. You you better than what you worshiping. Damn. You actually alive. <laughs> that thing is dead. That stone ain't doing nothing for you. That Jesus peace ain't doing nothing for you. Right. That cross ain't doing nothing for you. You better than that, but you worship that. <laughs> and listen, the rappers have the 
the most expensive chains, but they die the most. Every other every other week, you see a rapper dying and getting killed. Right. What happened to your Jesus piece, sir? Why? At least the bullet can ricochet off it. Mm. Damn. Read on. It's big enough. Whereas he lived once. The the man lived once. The man that created these idols and these guys, they lived once, read. But they never. But they never. That stone ain't never lived. Mm -mm. But you worship it. You better than a stone. At least you at least you got at least you lived once. <laughs> that ain't even give life. <laughs> but this is the problem. Our people run after these this nonsense. It's foolishness and idolatry. So we're gonna take a quick break. And when we come back. It's CDI's casting down imaginations, y'all. We're gonna come back. We, now we're gonna we gonna hop on Christianity when we come back. Okay. We, we're, okay. Gonna, we're gonna give it change a it up a little bit. We're gonna bit. switch it up a little bit. Hey, DJ, take us out. Finally, the time has come. Tries in the building, keeping the loss we live in. Better stop the sin in these scriptures that hurt your feelings. Serve the Lord if you will, and the spirit so fulfilling. Keep a Bible on me, a case of demon need killing. Strong, driven in the spirit, lead them ties, peeling hands to the ceiling, praying, praying for some holy healing. Lord, forgive me my sins and my wicked dealing. I wanna flee from the sin, but it's so appealing. When I'm slipping, I'm still fighting, I'm never quitting. Them scriptures hitting, we read the Bible as it is written. The spirit quick and the Holy Spirit is God. Given light shining so hard it might hurt your vision. Fringes on my linen, cut a demon with precision. Why my people packed the prison? Why they wanna keep us hidden? Did Christ finish the law? No, we didn't. So if you don't keep these laws, good riddance. Good. 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 Good riddance. I had to leave that Christian church, too many contradictions. Christianity worse than any drug addiction. Pagan prison religion revolved around fiction. They think that cross around their neck honors is crucifixion. You can't find that in the Bible, that's a man's tradition. Many have been deceived by their vain opinion. Come against the prophets, buddy, that's a bad decision. We send the scriptures at your melon, that's a bad collision. Repent and keep God laws, a little consequences. I want the kingdom, you can keep your white picket fences. I try to wake my people up and bring them to their senses, but their visions demented, they wearing tinted lenses, misrepresented by black leaders with bad intentions, Esau gave them a job, they trying to say they pitching, they all coons, house niggas, boot licking, we keep it real in the field, we teaching them repentance, good, 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 good riddance, now listen, Vanity blossoms, but it bears no fruit. Like two homosexuals, they trying to reproduce. Like your preacher trying to teach us, but he speaks no truth. He'll put the seed inside you, but will it ever take root? Nah. You will never understand the depths of deception till you open up your brain and start to do some dissecting. Locate all them lies you've been taught, then eject them. Now you're on a brand new walk unto perfection. Listen, you pray the Lord, you ask the Father for forgiveness. Have faith and he will listen. He will grant you all your wishes. Flee from the wicked, that's a step to repentance no use in resisting because the lord can bring vengeance so i fight my inhibitions flesh and spirit opposition keep the laws of repetition trying to change my bad condition lyrical demolition eat the track i'm so relentless the truth i set you free abolition abolition I ain't going back, feeling too good in the place where I'm at. Where I'm at? Pedal to the mat. Wanna thank God, cause he always got my back. Got my back. I ain't going back, feeling too good in the place where I'm at. Where I'm at? Pedal to the mat. Wanna thank God, cause he always got my back. Sitting in a circle and I'm steady whipping. Prophets coming back, but this the new edition. I've been on the road and I've been on a mission. They told me I should change, but I'm never switching. After all the hate and all the evil wishing. Hate and turn the blessings, I'm alive and kicking. Hate is motivation, you've been so uplifted. Loyal to the faith, I see the time is ticking. Rolling with creator, you can never stop me. The word is in my soul, that's what I embody. No weapon formed against me when I get my body. If you ain't heard about it, then go ask somebody. I've been on the roll and I don't plan on stopping. 
faithful to the Lord and ain't no other option. Many speculations, all them haters watching. Corporate is coming, you can never stop them. I ain't going back, feeling too good in the place where I'm at. Where I'm at? Pedal to the mat, wanna thank God cause he always got my back. Got my back. I ain't going back, feeling too good in the place where I'm at. Where I'm at? Pedal to the mat, wanna thank God cause he always got my back. Come up, come up for the crown. Proper rain everywhere, coming to your town. To your town. Came to shut it down. Yeah. Steady on the move, I ain't never slowing down. Slowing down. Yeah, we on the map. Gone for a while, then we brought it right back. Her right back. Ain't you no know we strapped. One full four, man, I'm rolling with the pack. We, we too ill. Don't spare feelings, I don't care about how you feel. How you feel? I'ma keep it real. real. Shout out to the brothers with the fire and the zeal. They, got the zeal. they told me I should chill. Nah. But I owe God and I gotta pay the bill. Pray, praying that I'm sealed. sealed. Be about my nation, man, I, I just wanna build. I ain't going back. Feeling too good in the place where I'm at. Where I'm at? Head on to the mat. Wanna thank God, cause he always got my back. Got my back. I ain't going back. Feeling too good in the place where I'm at. Where I'm at? Head on to the mat. Wanna thank God, cause he always got my back. Sin is getting lost. Getting lost. I just got a message from the boss. From the boss. I'm the one they really shouldn't cross. Nah, nah. If you violate, you gotta pay the cost. You know this and that's why I made you poor. Made you poor. Some of y'all just hate me to the core. To the core. I judge you, but you keep asking for more. So when you call on me, I just ignore. I just ignore. I know you better than you know yourself. Know yourself. I made you in my image, no one else. No one else. I gave you all the riches, all the wealth, all the wealth. But you turn away and stop feeling yourself. Damn, all the mercy that I show you. Man, I'm done with talking, know exactly what to do. Yeah. I'ma bring the fire, I'ma make you feel it too. Deliver all the righteous, yeah, they always stay true. I ain't going back, feeling too good in the place where I'm at. Where I'm at? Pedal to the mat, wanna thank God cause he always got my back. Got my back. I ain't going back, feeling too good in the place where I'm at. Where I'm at? Pedal to the mat, wanna thank God cause he always got my back. Gates. 12 tries, no reprobates. 
kingdom come after never wait. But the present signs never separate. Christ coming back with a legion of them angels. Picture perfect prophecies, trying to find my angle. Hung up from a tree, and they watch his body dangle. So the vengeance of the Lord coming down, you in danger. They scream in peace when there ain't no peace. Israel prophesying in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah coming with a business. Coming with a business. Black Messiah coming with a business. They scream in peace, it ain't no peace. We prophesying in the streets. Golden wedges of all fear. Look at here, we the prophets of the most high, the only God I fear. Killing your career as a Christian, shed a tear. Jesus take the wheel, I'ma let the scripture steer. Joseph interpret dreams, but I don't think he could imagine it. See, in the last days, Jacob told him this would happen. And we let loose, we some loose cannon. Pace the saints on the scene, and this kingdom we commanded. Purple and gold, no LeBron James. With King Christ, we gon' see better days. Now you not free, cause you got money. You a slave, the most high on his throne, but holding all our ways. They scream in peace when there ain't no peace. Israel prophesying in the streets. Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah coming with a business. Coming with a business. Black Messiah coming with a business. They scream in peace, it ain't no peace. We prophesying in the streets. Coming out their Bible, check, casting check, down check, imagination. Check. Coming out their Bible, casting down imagination. Coming out their Bible, All praises. casting down imagination. All right, we back. You cut a DJ. All praises. We got a DJ in the building now. All praises. All right. But there ain't no peace. Shout out to the Sons of Thunder. They got one of the, they got one of the hottest albums in Israel right now. Make sure y'all check that thing out. Yeah, he over here in the single brothers corner. <laughs> Matter of fact, pan the camera on R. <laughs> pan the camera on R. Shalom, brother. Most high in Christ best. Now nah, you can't say nothing, but he over here in the single brothers corner. Y'all shout out to uh Officer Ari. But let's get back to this. Let's get, let's get back to this. Now nah, you supposed to play a womp womp womp. But uh all right, give me uh the video, crazy fake face. Remember the phone lines are open, 405. 293-2029. Again, that's 405. 293-2029. So now, like I said, we're going we about to hop on Christianity. We talked about Islam. Christianity a little bit, but we talked about Islam and that nonsense. Now let's get on Christianity. Who our people hold so dear to them. Our people love. And many of us, we grew up in that nonsense. Like myself, I grew up in that nonsense. I come from a line of Christian pastors. It's just the Lord had a different path for me. And they are the most evil and wicked and vile on this mm -hmm. earth. Because my, my dad, my father, I hope you're watching too. My father, he was a pastor, but he, he was evil. He was evil and wicked as hell. So now, give me the first video, Crazy crazy and Fake heal, Faith Healers. Watch this. Because not only is Christianity big here in America, in Africa? Is huge. Yeah, yeah and I know. They be, they be deceiving the hell out of our people over there. Cap. Play that. I know, Cap. So it says, this dude, it says, the miracle pastor turns petrol fuel into pineapple juice. This nigga gonna die. So he got his people, he got people drinking gasoline, petrol fuel, and he's saying he's turning it into pineapple juice. What do they have? To, I, this is what oh, I. You're right. right. You're right. What do they have to do with salvation? <laughs> Nothing. It's a show. Christ wasn't doing this stuff. <laughs> Everything Christ did was a miracle. It was needed. We don't have no food, God. Okay, we have food now. Five right. inches and two loaves. We people will need to eat. He fed the people. Right. Uh, people were sick, lame. He healed the people. Mm. What gasoline? Gasoline. Now he turned it into pineapple but, juice. But, but he's <laughs> giving it to the person who's regular, fine, and nice. Ain't nothing wrong with him. Now he about to make him no, sick. No, no, watch. Play on. Play. Play. Now he about to make him sick. <laughs> Petro. Just... Ooh, shake it up. That's pineapple juice. And everybody, woo! You know this is black woman. Woo! I'm turning it into a pineapple juice. I'm turning it into pineapple juice. I'm turning it into pineapple juice. 
Crazy as hell. Go to the next video. Wait, Curry wait. Thomas. He said, I'm turning into apple juice. <laughs> Pineapple juice. Juice. <laughs> the word is on it. He said, <laughs> <laughs> a, little fu- a lot of fumes. Yes, it's gasoline. But this is the apple. foolishness of our people. This is Christianity. Our people flock to this stuff. This man talk about I'm turning it into pineapple juice, and it's <laughs> gas. And you drink your simple behind drinks it. He didn't say it like that. He said, I'm turning it into apple juice. Because <laughs> <laughs> juice is supposed to make it change because it's the word. It's the I word said of juice. God. It's the word Get of your God. Goofy ass out of here somewhere with that gas. Now go back to the other video. I'm sorry. There was more. There was more on that video. Yeah, Play off. <laughs> Play off. So this way he turned it in petrol fuel. She over there doing a stanky leg and shit. Cause she high, she high, she high as hell on gasoline. I'm sorry. <laughs> Play. Oh, that's how you know this. This that is witchcraft. This is that's a demon. That is a demon. Matter of fact, hold that. Give me Matt Mark real quick. Give me that. Give that in Mark. What is that? Mark four. I don't got this rolled down. What is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. Man. There's one in Mark, though. Let's go. Talking about the deaf, dumb, deaf, dumb spirit. spirit. I think it's Mark 4. Mark 9. Yeah, get that. Mark 9. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get that. Get Mark the ninth yeah, chapter. And start. I got it. Start at verse. Start at verse 22. It's the book of Mark. Matter of fact, jump up to verse... Uh, 15. It's the book of Mark, chapter 9 and verse 15. And straightway, all the people that were that beheld him were greatly amazed and running to him, saluted him. And he asked the scribes, what question ye with them? And one of the multitude answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. Hath a dumb spirit. Read on. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gnashed, and with his teeth, and pineth the way. So this spirit teareth at him. He foams at the mouth. He's gnashing his teeth, and he's pining away. Play the video. That's the dumb spirit. Uh, wait, dumb. Look at him. Pining away. Look at him. They look crazy drinking gas. Now, now hold on. Press pause real quick. How come now everybody want to stop the Israelites? And all we saying is keep God's commandments. That's it. The blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans are the Israelites. That's right. all we saying. These people actually harming people's lives. He harming? They actually... All he, actually missing, can, all he missing right now is a funnel. That is it. <laughs> That's all he missing. Bruh. He ga- he is literally gassing them up. Bruh. <laughs> literally. I Come guarantee, on, man. I guarantee they was like, we need to check for lighters. Can't have no lighters in the show tonight. <laughs> hey, how no you know? Because the last dude, he was like, <coughs> <coughs> it's a little fumy. <laughs> it's a lot of fumes. This ain't pineapple juice. <laughs> <laughs> that is petrol fuel. Play on. <laughs> Finish. Some alone, some alone. Now y'all Jesus. seen this one. I, I I haven't seen this. Oh, I know I seen it. He heals people by kicking them. <laughs> Jesus. Boom, Jesus. He is molesting her. Jesus. This is the foolishness of Christianity. Jesus. All right, that's it. Give me the next video. Give me the next video. Just take it to the next. And this is what you believe. You don't believe that God uh, 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 sent his son to die for blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. You're going to believe that. Mm. 
but you believe this. You drink pineapple juice. Gas. Gasoline. Oh, it's pineapple juice. <laughs> you got to say juice. <laughs> it's pineapple juice, sir. Pineapple juice. <laughs> Hey, play this. I know y'all know who this is. Hey. Come and get come and get your free pest in the pair package. <laughs> play this. No, but listen to what he says. Watch this. And this is the foolishness of Christianity. Re- play that. Um, I would like prayer because I'm 17 years old and I've been living HIV positive ever since I was born. Pause. So this woman calls in and says she's been living HIV positive since she was born. <laughs> so you about the hill? Play. You about the healing? Play. All right, I want to see this. And I've been living HIV positive ever since I was born. My God. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse this sickness in her body. And I command Crystal to be made whole. <laughs> Cleanse the blood. And God, you give Crystal brand new blood. Pause. Give her brand new blood. <laughs> Play on. Blood. And God, you give Crystal brand new blood. Do it right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Crystal? Yeah. I just believe God just touched and healed your body. Stop. 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 Give me Isaiah 56 and 11. I said 56 and 11. This is their hypocrisy. So now this man just told this HIV positive woman that God has touched your body and healed you. And healed you. This, this, this is the, and if you don't see this nonsense, if you if you can't see this, you you writer, you you deserve every bit of indignation you get. Why ain't he in our hospital? Cap, I was just why about to why ain't he at the doctor? <laughs> why are why are, why don't they have doctorates? Right. Why why, why just fire all the he doctors? He is curing HIV. Just fire all the doctors. Have one office. Kearney Thomas. Him, Benny Hill, uh, Kenneth Copeland, all of them. Just just give them an office. Give them an office. He cured, he just cured HIV, an uncurable disease. Over the phone. Over the phone. Wait, you see? Hey, did you? Did you wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Over the phone. Cap, did you see his face when she said it? He was like, "God, <laughs> help me! Don't look crazy on this TV." But see, this is the madness. <laughs> now she she thinking she HIV negative is about to go sleep with somebody. She's seventeen. Let's keep it real. She's 17. Mm -hmm. She about to go lay down with somebody. Right. Mm -hmm. And now they got HIV. Play on. It's some more. We're going to get that. Play on. It's some more. So, I just believe God just touched and healed your body and just worked a miracle for you. A miracle. I want you to plan to live and not die. Yes, sir. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, I, I want to. I pray for others that have been tested to be HIV positive and got healed. I've even prayed. Uh, and it's documented. He said he has had people that have tested HIV positive and have been healed. But you, if if you believe this, you just as stupid and simple as him. Read that Isaiah fifty six and eleven. Isaiah chapter fifty six and verse eleven. Come on. Yay! They are greedy dogs. No, no. Mm-hmm. Jump up to verse ten. Verse ten. His watchmen are blind. He says his watchmen are blind. The watchmen today are supposed to be the leaders. And these are who Esau has set up as our lead. They are blind. Come on. They are all ignorant. They are all ignorant. And God <laughs> said, yo, dumb behind is ignorant. Read on. They are all dumb dogs. They are dumb dogs. Because think about it. Like, like, like you said, if he can heal, cure HIV, why is he not at Why is he on TV? Talking about for your free per- person of hair package, call this number. The pay package. Why he ain't at the hospital? The pay package. Why ain't he going from hospital to hospital healing people of HIV? Get your pay package. Read on. They cannot bark. Mm, they cannot bark. They have no understanding. Come on. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. They simple. They sleep. Read on. Yay. They are greedy dogs. That's the point. They are greedy dogs. They only doing this because the simple will hear this 
and open their pockets and be like, you know what? I wanna I wanna contribute to Kearney Thomas. He is he healed somebody on TV. He cured this woman that girl of had HIV. AIDS. She had a hey, right, she had AIDS. Mm-hmm. And, and Pastor Jesus. Kearney Thomas mm. healed him. Mm. I'm gonna send that thousand dollars today. Matter of fact, I'm and I'm gonna get me a free person to pay a package. The pay package. Because that's how you know that's how I say it. Person to pay a package. Package. <laughs> Read on. <laughs> Which can never have enough. And they can never have enough. That's why they keep going and keep going. And our, our people fall into that same nonsense, that same foolishness. It's like if you, it's 2021, if you can't see it by now, you deserve every piece of rebuke that, that is coming for you. Read on. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. Play on. This would be HIV positive and God healed. I've even prayed. Uh, and it's documented. I pray for people that have had full bloom AIDS. <laughs> full bloom AIDS. Them, and God has worked a miracle for them. I never heard of full and bloom. I God's just done it for you too, Chris. For your head to stop hurting? Yeah, my eyes. I watch it. When do you want it to stop hurting? I want it to stop nine. It come by. Take a deep breath. Hey, pause. That right there, that rag, I couldn't find. It's in this uh, clip somewhere, but he calls that rag the blood of Jesus rag. <laughs> so that's Jesus' blood on that that's rag? That's the blood of Jesus rag. Play, play off. Ellen, when do you want it to stop hurting? I want to stop nine. It come by. Take a deep breath, Ella. Oh my God, Ella God's touching you. They right probably now. did an Oscar. Ooh, watch, watch what she say. Tell her how you feel now, Ella. Oh, I feel all right at this moment. It goes and it comes. You know? I, I don't care about going and coming. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> He said, I don't care about the going and coming. All I care about is, do you feel good right now? Okay, then God has healed you today. What she's telling you is, you know, my pain, it comes and it goes. You know, sometimes I feel good, sometimes she was trying I don't. To, she was trying to help him. <laughs> she, he didn't get the message. He should have just shut up. She was trying to help him. She was trying to say, oh, man. listen, I'm still hurting. But she couldn't really say that because she believed in this fool. <laughs> God. Play on. <laughs> God. There was one. Matter of fact, I think it's in the beginning of the video. There was one where the dude said, I'm still in pain. Yeah, go to the beginning. Is it the beginning? Nah, it ain't the beginning. Hold on. Keep scrolling. I'll show you. Keep going. Keep going. No, no, no. Start. Yeah, matter of fact, start in the beginning. Start in the beginning. Not, not. A little up. Right. right up, back. Back up a little bit. Right there. Play it. If you want to learn, this is your He's time. now supporting Trump. Trump. For president. Hold on, hold, back it up. That lets you know right there, Trump for president. That lets you know his ideology. That lets you know where he stands. He matter of fact, hold that. Give me Isaiah. Give me Isaiah. 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 Uh, twenty-eight fifteen. Isaiah twenty-eight fifteen. And this is where all of them stand. This is their stance. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter twenty-eight and verse fifteen. Because ye have said, we have made a covenant with death. And that's what they have done. They have made a covenant with death. Death and destruction of our people. Read on. And with hell are we at agreement. And they're in agreement with captivity. That's why they don't preach nothing that's going to actually deliver our people. Unlike the Israelites. You see, we are here preaching how to get up out of this captivity. Because, yes, we are our captivity. We are in captivity. We are slaves here in America. We are subject to our oppressor. And the only way we're going to get up out of here, the only way we're going to actually truly be free is by keeping God's commandments and the faith of his son. They ain't teaching that though. Why? Because they are in agreement with us staying in captivity. Right. That's why he talking about, that's why he talking about uh, Trump for president. Because Trump's slogan is make America great again. And America, in their mind, America was great when we was in slavery. When we were slaves. By the way, we're going to get that today. That's, that's the gospel of Christianity. Read on. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. When, the, when, when, when issues and problems, when the, them Negroes, when they what they going through, it ain't going to touch us. We're going to be good because God is on my side. That's yeah. how they think. They wasn't saying that last week. No, nah, sure it wasn't. No, nah, not last week. Read on. For we have made lies our refuge. And that's what they do. They make lies their refuge. Play on. This is your time. now supporting Trump. Trump for president. Mm. <laughs> Listen to this. You sound like you're 35. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your back is hurting now? 
Yeah, I had two previous surgeries, and I have uh, two more problems on top of that. Can, can you feel the pain now? Yes. Look for the pain right now. Yes. It's healing your body right now. Move that back around now. And tell me how it feel. Yeah, I feel the pain. It's all cracking bones. <laughs> I still feel the pain. It's all cracking bones. It's different at all right now. No. Not yet. Not yet. Well, listen, you know what I'm, I'm going to do? Uh, Pastor Jackson, I know you got your information. I'm going to send something special in the mail uh, to you that's going to help destroy that generational curse off your life. Wait, where's my... <laughs> that nigga don't lie. He, he, he was like, why you let that person through? <laughs> hey, the skin I'm going to send you something in the mail to help you with your back. No, he said, he said generational him. curses. <laughs> he said, I'm going to send something in the mail to heal you from that generational curse of back, back pain. Uh, they, what? they are dumb dogs. And our people follow this foolishness still today. I want to know I want to know if somebody call it, I'm old. I want to be young again. What the hell are you going to do? What the hell are you going to do? I want to know what you're going to do. Tell send, me. Hey, he going to send him a personal pair package. <laughs> the pair package. The pair package. All right, give me first 2 Second Corinthians 11. The pair package. Give me 2 Corinthians 11, chapter. Start at verse 3. Second mm, mm, mm. Corinthians, chapter 11, and verse 3. Come on. But I fear, least by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through Come on. subtility. So... So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. And that's what we got to understand. It is simple to follow Christ. Christianity, y'all make it hard. They, our people try to make it hard. Right. It's simple to follow Christ. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's dress. That's easy. That's simple. Put fringes on the borders of your garment. Don't eat swine. Only eat what... Uh, chew the cud and it's cloven footed. It's got to have scales. That's simple. You read simple it, you drink, do it. Simple than drinking gasoline. Right. Is it? Yeah. You're, you're, you're crazy behind drinking gasoline. Simple than that. Healing. It's salvation. Right. You exactly you, right. You don't even bet your eyes. So sure didn't. You walk up there doing the stinky legs and I'm trying to get that juice. Apple ah. juice. Oh. That's the... But that's what it shows. Our people have been corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Keep the commandments Simple. and live. Read on. For if, he, for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Which they have. That's, this is Christianity. Christianity is came preaching another Jesus. That white image of Christ. Come on. Whom we have not preached. Because the disciples did not preach that Jesus. John the Revelator didn't. That wasn't the image that he that 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 he uh uh, uh wrote about in right. in the Book of Revelations. Neither did Daniel. The the disciples did not preach that Jesus. Come on. Or if ye receive another spirit, they received another spirit because you you have to have another spirit to drink gasoline, right. and think you're gonna be okay, and you think it's pineapple juice, <laughs> like you think a pastor has the ability to turn pineapple juice it, gasoline into pineapple juice. That is another spirit. The disciples didn't preach that spirit. It's no edification. What? I don't None. get it, man. I just don't get it. Come on. It's for money. It's all they greedy dogs. It's all for monetary gain. Wow, look what I can do. The power of God is with me, and I can turn gasoline into pineapple juice. And you know, Give me your money. You know what I want to say, Cap? It's the people's fault because they won't read. They're not reading because if you was reading the Bible, or something, I guarantee you, if somebody who's teaching us, teach, we teach you right now, mm -hmm. go drink the gasoline out your car. You know what you're gonna do? Y'all gonna cut off the, y'all gonna cut off the, cut the TV off. Y'all gonna cut it off like them niggas crazy. <laughs> you make <laughs> me go crazy. Go tell me to drink gasoline. Yeah. Oh, but if it was pastor, if it's your pastor, but if they was reading the Bible, they, <laughs> they would have got up out the church. They would have just got up and be like, hold on, what? That's not, let's get out of here. They would have just got out. But gasoline? since, but since they don't read. They let the man just trust him? Hey, that's on them. That's our people. Read on. Which she have not received. Come on. Or another gospel. Or another what? Gospel. Or another gospel. Come on. Which she have not accepted. Ye might well bear with him. We 
the gospel of Christianity is not the gospel that we receive, that the disciples taught. That's not the gospel of Christ. So now this brings us to your boy. Play this video. This is your boy, Creflo Dollar. And they all have the same booty face. <laughs> yes. All now, of them have recent. the booty face. This was just yesterday, I think. Or the today. booty face. Today or yesterday. Look at this. This, this what God, uh, bro, come on, man. Look at this man's face. You could always look at Creflo and tell when he's about to say something totally against the Bible. His hand is in his pocket. He'll look both ways around the church. <laughs> it dropped the bomb. But this shell. is the thing, though. What he's about to say, that's what this is how Christians believe, and this is what Christians think. What he's about to say is Christianity. This is what they feel. This is how they believe. Play that. To really decide whether you are still immature in righteousness because you're unskillful in the word of righteousness. Romans chapter 1, Romans chapter verse 16 one. through 17, <laughs> he says, For I am not ashamed. Now watch this. Pause. It, it, and this is a tactic I, right here. He ain't reading nothing. He looking straight at the camera. But he's reading the Bible. That, like, I, the word of God is in me. I, that's a tactic to make you think, oh, he really know what he's talking about. He, ooh, yeah, he, God must be working with him. They have a clip of him couldn't even find the scriptures. He, he no, reading he, from a teleprompter right now. He reading from a teleprompter right now. Play on. 17, he says, for I am not ashamed. Now watch this carefully now. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Now, he's very specific. He's talking about the gospel of Christ. He's not talking about Mark's gospel, John's gospel. He's not talking about Matthew's gospel. He's talking about the gospel of Christ. I am not ashamed of the What's gospel the difference? of Christ. What's the difference? In the gospel of Mark, Matthew, Luke, John, Christ was speaking. Wait, hold on. It's Who the gave him that gospel? It's the account. And this is how you know this is nonsense. Go ahead. This is how you know they don't open their Bible because literally on the page it says, this is the gospel according to. According to. Right. John. <laughs> this is the gospel of Christ according to John. According to Luke. But he said, oh, that's Luke's gospel. That ain't the gospel of Christ. That's what he's alluding to. <laughs> that ain't the gospel of Christ. <laughs> that's Luke's gospel. That's Mark. Like, hey, Romans 1 and 16, ain't, the, that gospel of Christ ain't talking about that. That's that Jedi mind trick. Mm -hmm. them, them fancy words and throw you off. Read on. The simple. Or play on. It throws yeah, the simple off. The gospel off. of Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it, the gospel of Christ, is the power of God. For it, the gospel of Christ, is the power of God. Well, how many of you want to have the power of God operating in your life? Well, in order for that to happen, you've got to understand the gospel of Christ. For the gospel mm. of Christ is the power of God unto salvation. He and ain't saying nothing. Deals and that's Christianity circles. Play on. The power of that's God about to, about unto to, about salvation. To, about to and that word salvation deals with deliverance. It deals with soundness. It. it deals with healing. So he says the gospel of Christ is the power of God that will bring you salvation and healing, deliverance and soundness, all of those things. So he the gospel of Christ, everyone, which is the power of God, it brings you all that. So how do you get it? I don't even know what he just said. He don't even know what he just said. Read, play on. That believe it. He says, but you got to believe the gospel of Christ. And if you believe the gospel of Christ, it brings power Unto salvation. And that's the point. That's all Christianity. All you got to do is to believe in the power and gospel of Christ, and you got it. But what is that? You got it. It's the power of God. What is it? The gospel of Christ. But what is that? The power of God. <laughs> that's exactly, that's Christianity. That bro. is Christianity. That is Christianity 101. <laughs> Play. Saying a whole lot while saying nothing. By saying nothing. Play. Saying everything. The of Christ, <laughs> it brings power unto salvation. He says to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And look at verse 17. Well, he sped on past For that. therein is the righteousness of God. He says, so therein, in this gospel of Christ, in this good news about Christ, he says, therein is the righteousness of God revealed. So in this gospel, the righteousness of God 
is revealed, not your self-righteousness, but the righteousness of God is Paul revealed. Paul said, let's get the actual righteousness of God, just in case anybody's confused. Give me Deuteronomy 6, 25. Just Don't stay in the spirit. I don't want nobody else there talking about, touch the he preaching now. We're going we're gonna to touch the gospel Here's somebody of Christ. Right now. He preaching now. No, nah, he ain't preaching. <laughs> He's deceiving now. He is deceiving. Because remember, it says if another come preaching, another gospel. We gon we gon get the, the we gon we gon break down the gospel of Christianity and the true gospel. This is cunning, bro. This is this, he went yes. to school for this. Yes. This is what they call it. Uh, the theological uh, school. Uh, witchcraft. Yes. This it is this, witchcraft. this is this is witchcraft right here. I'm telling you. Read He's that. Not saying God nothing. told you what His righteousness is. Read that. It's the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter six and verse twenty-five, and it shall be our righteousness. This is our righteousness. Like Romans 1 and 17, wherein is the righteousness of God revealed. This is our righteousness. Read. If we observe to do all these commandments. All what? These commandments. All the commandments. That's how we're righteous. That's the righteousness of God, keeping his commandments. Read on. Before the Lord our God. Before God. That's what you're supposed to do. Not what he's talking about. He don't even. He ain't even answering nothing. He's not explaining anything. He's just talking in a nice circle and making you feel good and making himself sound like he know what he's talking about. But the righteousness of God is keeping his commandments. Play on. Is revealed not your self righteousness, but the righteousness of God is revealed, and it's revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, "The just shall live by faith." Now, the word "just." Who are the just? The just of those, we just read it, keeping God's commandments. That's the just. Play on. I know it's hard to get through this, but it's a point I want in this video. The just are those who have been declared righteous. The just are those who have been declared righteous. You see, you got to understand that. When pause, 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 pause. I want y'all to see on the screen. No, 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 no. Why you move it? It says, <laughs> after all that nice soliloquy that he's saying that's warring you over, he pops up on the screen, order today's message. <laughs> the gift of righteousness. You can call Creflo Dollars Ministry or you can go to the website and you can order today's message. <laughs> and I guarantee you it's a price. I'm about to fall Tag asleep up. listening to this dude. This bro. dude said therein is the righteousness. See, righteousness is in there. That's the therein righteousness. Oh, he preaching he now. That. He preaching now. Amen, Pastor. He said that. Amen, Pastor. You're just using words and literally saying the same sentence, using the same words a different way. Dumb dogs. Read on. I mean, play on. And if you out there believing in this, you're an idiot. I'm just going to tell you straight. You're repent. An idiot. You're an idiot. You need to repent. And I hope your feelings hurt so you can go read the Bible and see why you Right. Play on. Who have been declared righteous. You see, you got to understand that when you, we're, I'm righteous because I've been declared righteous. Uh, By who? God looked at Abraham. By the white man. In a moment, Abraham was By righteous white because man. God declared him righteous. The just are those who have declared righteous or have been declared righteous. The just shall live by faith that he is the righteousness of God. The just shall live by faith that he is. So wait, 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 brother. Hey, somebody wait, right wait, now wait, said, you know what? You're right. Ooh, I am righteous. I am the righteousness so of God. So what's the name of this sermon? The gift of righteousness. So if I say righteousness 152 <laughs> times, I'm going to call it. To show righteousness. All I got to do is say righteousness. So what's Every it? time I finish a sentence, righteousness. So the, I got to go use the restroom. Righteousness. <laughs> so <laughs> the take error. a crap. Righteousness. I'm going to eat tonight. Righteousness. What are you talking about, man? The Arab that straps the bomb on his chest, it says Allah Akbar before he presses the button, thinks he's righteous. He going to heaven right after he blow up 100 people? Right. Right. Play, play on. That's of God. The just he said shall a lot. live by faith he that he is the righteousness of God. Now, let's define gospel. This is the point. This, this is the point I wanted right here. Ooh. He said, let's define the word gospel. gospel. You thought he was going to bring a scripture? Oh, he going to no, bring a scripture. Go, oh, I know he ain't going to bring a scripture. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to bring a scripture. Now. Play that. Gospel in this context here. The word gospel here, it means, and I like the way uh, one of my brothers defi define it, it means Nearly too good to be true news. What? It's nearly Pause. too. So he's defining God, the gospel, and he likes to define it as nearly too good to be true news. Play on. Too Play good on. to be true news. Somebody says, "Well, the gospel is good news." I That's agree. what the gospel means. I good agree. news. It means good news. 
Get them off. We're coming back here. Get them off the screen. Give me the next video, the History Channel. We're about to define go the gospel of Christianity. Since our people are confused, this is the gospel. Read 2 Corinthians 11, verse 4 again, and we about to define the gospel of Christianity because he don't know the gospel of Christianity, and he's a Christian pastor. Many of our people don't know the, tr the good news of Christianity to our enemies, to the oppressor. Understand that because this ain't our religion. This is, a, this is uh, the, the so-called Caucasian man, Esau. This is his religion, Christianity. What you about to say? Go ahead, read that. I'm going to say that. Read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, mm. or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted. This is the other gospel, the gospel of Christianity. Well, go ahead. Say what you're going to say. that's so what I was about to say. So people think that they read because a, a Christian. My mama tried to read this to me. She said, no, y'all coming with that new stuff. <laughs> Do you know Christ was an Israelite? Right. The people who he died for was Israelites? Right. All the people, the, the, the Israelites. I don't know what you, what, what are you talking about? Mm. What the Bible is talking about, anything that he said, like, let's get, hold that. Get Revelations 1.14. Just get that real quick. Hold that, get Revelations 1.15. I'm going to be real quick. Revelations 115. So who I want to know who was was first. Right. The this words or what we see on in every Christian in, in every church. In, in your grandma house and stuff like and so on and so on. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. This is talking about Jesus the Christ. His head and his hair were white like wool. Like us, the black people. Read. As white as snow. Uh huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Why? Because he drank wine. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. He was a very dark man. But they wanted. Dark. <laughs> but you have a movie called Passion of Christ. Right. Um, and uh, multiple movies about uh, Jesus, right? Mm. But they're all Caucasian, just like the, the when we started. Yeah. The, uh, with um, uh, our football, uh, Abraham. Abraham. Oh uh, yeah. All, and, yeah. Everybody was white. Islam uh, video. Yeah, right. Everybody white. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's all tricks. It's all. The, it's, this is a new gospel. We've been worshiping since we've been born. This is a new gospel. And we about to define it. Play that video. Let's get the, the, the real gospel of Christianity. Because what has happened is Esau, our uh, oppressor. He, he crafty, mm -hmm. and he's kind of hidden what Christianity really is about when it comes to blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. Play that. Play this right here. Play this right here first. You, can see. you started uh, 36 seconds. Yeah, yeah. First 36 seconds. Pay attention to what he says because it plays a part later. Receive this idea. It's not a sin if you kill non-Christians. If you pause that. So believers in our during faith. the Crusades back way back when Christianity started, their belief was it's not a sin if you kill. They were justifying conquering people by it's not a sin if you kill non-believers. Play on. Christians, if you kill non-believers in our faith. And so he made this deal that if you go and the fight Pope. in the Holy Land, you will be forgiven all your past sins. A knight could sin as much as he liked. And simply by going to the Holy Land, he had been given his passport to heaven. Pause. That was an extremely... They remix that today and say, all you got to do is just believe. And you can do all the sin it's you a... want, you can believe. But... In this time, that's how they justified conquering and slaughtering and killing everybody to take over the land. Drop that. Give me the destruction of the enemies. You give me Genesis 26, 39 and 40. Genesis 26, 39 and 40. The next is the book. The book. And I had, I had them in order. The book. Matter of fact, yeah, I, want, I do want this article right now. Watch this. Because remember, in the, during the, 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 the Holy Wars, quote-unquote, um, the Holy Wars or whatever, during the, uh, the uh, um, Crusades, they justified 
killing and taking over land by saying, oh, it's, it's of Christian faith. This is for, for God. Uh, scroll down. No, no, no. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. It's a certain part. I'm going to scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up. Too fast. Too fast. Move it over. We can't see the edge. Yeah. Right there it says they fought. They were fought by Roman Catholic soldiers. So now this is going into the Spanish conquistadors, who were also governed during the time of the Crusades. Because remember, he said many soldiers flocked to that ideology. Why? Because they could do whatever they want. They could sin. They could get money, power, gold, and they could go back and be forgiven in Jesus. And the state wouldn't persecute them or punish them because it was under God. Because at this time, the Roman Catholic Church was the ones that was ruling. Read. The Spanish explorers slash soldiers saw their mission to conquer new lands as a natural extension of the medieval crusade. That's how they saw the, con the, the conquest of Hispaniola when in 1492, when they came and conquered us, that was how, that, that's how they justified it. The Spanish explorers and soldiers saw their mission to conquer new lands as a natural extension of the medieval crusades. So the same thing they was doing, taking over uh, uh, Jerusalem, parts of Africa, the Middle East, they was like, you know what? Now it's time to move over to the west side. You read that, Genesis 26, verse 39. Y'all gonna learn about Esau. This is the gospel of Christianity right here. Esau lives by the sword. Kill, conquer. Conquer and kill. That's the gospel of Christianity. Read that. It's the book of Genesis, chapter 27 and verse 39. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. So this was the blessing of Esau. His dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Come on. And of the dew of heaven and from of above. the dew of heaven, meaning the best places. Come on. And by the sword and shall... By what? Be, by the sword. And by the sword. That's how he's going to get all those good places. All those, the fatness of the earth. The best places by conquering it. The, con the, the crusades and the conquest, conquering it. And what did they use? It was under the banner of what? Christianity. Read that. Read on. Roman Catholic priests on the article. and friars always accompanied the Spanish explorers who were expected to convert heathen natives to Christianity. That, that was the pretense. Oh, we're going to convert heathen natives to Christianity. No, they was coming to conquer and kill and destroy. Why? Because they wanted wealth power, gold, prestige, and they would be justified when they went back home. Why? Because it was under the banner. Of, this is the gospel of Christianity. Bring it down. Give me the book, The Destruction of the Indies. Give me the book now. Give me the book. So the hell with what Creflo, Creflo Dollar don't know what he talk about, the gospel of Christ, of, the, the, of what he serves. That's the, that's the white man's gospel. That's his gospel of Christ, his gospel of Christianity. That ain't the real gospel. And we're going to touch the real gospel, what Christ really was talking about, the good news. Because this is good news to white people right here. What we reading, this is good news to our enemy. Slaughter, rape, and kill the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's their gospel. That's their gospel of Christianity. Uh, start at where it says it all began. It all began with the Europeans taking Native women and children, both as servants and to satisfy their own Base appetite. So remember, we let's just, make America great again. Right, exactly. Remember, we just read they they saw this conquest as a, an extension of the medieval crusades. So they were coming under the banner of Christian Church, the Roman Catholic Church. This was all funded by them. Read on. Then, not content with what the local people offered them of their own free will, and all offered as much as they could spare. They started taking for themselves the food that natives contrived. So basically they started taking everything, pillaging. Jump down to where it says the Christians. Scroll down. Yeah, right there. Watch, watch what it calls them. Read. The Christians. The what? The Christians. This is your friendly neighborhood white man. This is the same. This is who set up Creflo Dollar in his place and why he talks so eloquently and, 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 and uh, tricks you into thinking that the gospel of Christ is just uh, the power of righteousness, which is the gospel of Christ. No, this is the gospel of Christianity right here. Read that. The Christians punched they them. They punched our people. The so-called uh, Northern Kingdom, the uh, Native Americans, uh, uh, the Puerto Ricans, the uh, 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 the uh, uh, Cubans, uh, Seminole, all, all these, the, the so-called indigenous people, as they call them. It says they punched them. Come on. 
box their ears and flog them in order to track they down. They treated them as animals. Box their ears and flog them. I mean, they put a they put a thing a thing on it to track them down. Come on. In order to track them down, the local leaders. Because they were trying to find who the leaders were. Why? Because they was there to conquer. They weren't there to convert nobody to no religion. They were there to conquer in the name of white Jesus. Read on. And the whole shameful process came to a, is that head? Head. A head when one of the European commanders raped the wife of the paramount chief of the entire land. Raped the wife of a paramount chief. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Get that. Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28. You messed up. This, this is the gospel of Christianity. Deuteronomy 28, read verse 30. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with thee. That's what they did. They came over here rape, raping our wives, our women. It says, it says, a Christian, it says uh, the European commanders raped the wife of the paramount chief of the entire island. Read that verse again. That's how you know we the people of the book. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Another man shall lie with her. Uh, scroll over to the next side, and where it says they, they spared. That's where you start. Scroll. Come down. Come down. They spared. They spared no one, erecting especially wide gibbets on which they could string their victims up with their feet. Just off the so ground. So they had a little thing. Y'all seen the image. They had a thing where they were hanging people off where their feet were just off the ground and they would start a fire to burn them. This is what they were doing to us. This is the gospel of Christianity. Read on. Wait, they say they spared no one. They, they spared no one. So they didn't care if you was two years old, one years old, baby. We're going we're about to read that. Okay. Deuteronomy 28. Okay. Read on. They spared no one, erecting especially wide givers on which they could string their victims up with their feet just off the ground, and then burn them alive 13 at a time. They would burn them alive 13 at a time. Read. In honor of our Savior. In honor of who? In honor of our Savior. Read. And the 12 apostles. That's the gospel of Christianity. Death and destruction of the Israelites. That's the gospel of Christianity. Understand that. Give me Deuteronomy 28, read verse 50. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 50. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 50. A nation of fierce countenance. That's who this was. A nation of fierce countenance came. Read. Was shall not regard the person of the old. Come on. Nor show favor to the young. Read. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle and the fruit of thy land. So they didn't care who you No one was spared. They didn't show no regards to the old or the young. Everybody died and they hung us by 13s. One for they God and the their apostles. Because it, they, it ain't talking about our apostles. It ain't talking about the, the savior of the Bible. It ain't talking about the 12 apostles that are, are our forefathers. That ain't who he's talking about. They talking about they God, their Christianity, their gospel. Because this is good news. Think about this. You send, they send this report back to, to the Pope. They send this, this report back to the Pope and back to the Queen. I think it was uh, Isabel at the time. I, after uh, read it, Isabella at the time. They sent they sent that report back. This is good news to them. This is gospel to them. This is good news. They are doing a good work for the Lord and conquering and gaining us more land. Give me the next one. Get the next one. The next page. No, no, no. The next page. There was a few pages. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Uh, where it says, uh, ca uh, yeah, Catholic monarchs. Catholic monarchs. Start there. The Catholic monarchs for, of Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Ferdinand and Isabella had decreed that while all land would remain the possession of the crown. That's what I'm saying. It's good news. They down there raping, killing, and pillaging. Why? Because now the land is the crowns under the under the direction of the Pope and the right. Roman Catholic right. Church. This is the gospel of Christianity. Read on. The Indians would be compelled to work it on behalf of the colonists. In exchange for their labor, they would be offered the protection of the what's that? Castilian crown. Castilian crown. crown. Uh, instruction on the Christian faith. And a small wage. So those that didn't rebel, now they started to convert them. Now you got to be a Christian. You got to come to the Christian faith. And read on. In practice, however, although they did not actually live in the colonist households, such Indians were 
Virtual, oh, virtual slave. So now you virtually are a slave. You are a slave now. We have came and rape robbed and pillaged you in the name of Caesar Borgia, and you are a slave. Now, give me that uh, Leviticus 26, read verse 25. They don't believe this. They don't believe they were slaves. But here it is. You got Creflo Dollar and all these other simple pastors running around talking about the gospel of Christ. You don't know the, you don't really know the religion that you in called Christianity. Because Christian, you won't find Christianity in the Bible. Yeah, that's the bloodiest. The bloodiest. That's the gospel of Christianity right there. What we read, and that, that is that's true Christianity right there. The Bible said, because he didn't hate blood, blood gonna pursue him. Mm -hmm. He said he didn't hate blood. He said he loved blood. Christianity loved blood. Cause that's Esau. Most, that's his religion. Most he I was blessed with the him. sword. Read mm -hmm. that. Leviticus chapter twenty six and verse twenty five, and I will bring a sword unto you mm. that shall avenge the quarrel of my covenant. Mm. And when ye are gathered together within your cities, I will send the pestilence among you. And that's what happened. God brought that sword, which was Esau, the so-called white man, or Christianity. That sword came flying. Now drop that, because right now we talk about Northern Kingdom, so I, I can hear the so-called Negro now. Well, that wasn't us. No, no, that wasn't us. Give me the, you can drop the book. Give me the, uh, the article. Uh, now, uh, what was the one I had, Isabella? I did have that article. Drop that one. Don't worry about that one. Give me, uh, yeah, give me this one, Antebellum, because I, I can hear it now. Oh, that was that was Hispanics. That was uh, that did we ain't that ain't our people. Watch this. Neg Negroes think they safe too, huh? They, no, the, the gospel of Christianity runs strong with destroying blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That is they good news right there. Watch this. Read that. How Antebellum Christians justified slavery. How Christians justified slavery in the South. Scroll down. Uh, stop right there. No, 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 it was a certain part. Yeah, 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 Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll, scroll down. Uh, no, 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 scroll back up, scroll back up. Start, scroll back, scroll, scroll. Right there. Start right there. Uh, Baptist and Methodist. Baptist and Methodist churches. You want to scroll up some? No, no, the other one, down. Yeah, yeah, read that. Baptist and Methodist churches had opposed slaveholding members in the early years of the Republic. These denominations' rapid expansive expansion in the South, however, meant abandoning these, this position in recognition that upwardly mobile members increasingly included slaveholders. Mm, read on. Justification for slavery came with this growth and found its parallels in the biblical subordin subordination of women. Scroll down. Keep reading. Southern ministers had written in the majority of all published defenses of slavery. They, and all they published, they published the defenses of slavery. This was Southern ministers. The same people that taught your Creflo Dollar, because remember, his church is in Atlanta. The same people that taught your T.D. Jakes. The same person that taught all your little Southern Baptist Methodist churches. Read on. For these ministers, slavery not only had divine sanction. It had, not only did it have divine sanction, read. It was a necessary. A what? A necessary. It was a necessary. Read. Part of Christianity. That's the good news right there to a white man. Boy, a white man here. Hey, Esau hear that? He be like, boy, that's the gospel of Christ right there. That's some good news. That's the gospel of Christianity. Not, not what your dumb pastor be telling you. Just, just have belief and faith and power and, and faith and, and, and Donald Trump. And we're going to be all make America great again. That's the gospel of Christianity. Just imagine what our people was going through at this time. Mm. And this was when America was great. Mm. Mm. Go back, 2 Corinthians. That's all I wanted out of that. So, yes, Negroes, you called it too. It wasn't no difference. Just like uh, uh, Northern Kingdom was catching, Southern Kingdom too. And they all, and uh, Esau was all justifying it under Christianity. So now, get 2 Corinthians 2. two. Uh, 2 Corinthians 11, read verse 4 again. It's the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he, for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not received, I'm sorry, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel. Or another gospel. That's the other gospel that, that our people receive. Death and destruction, persecution, rape, pillage, Conquer, conquistadors. That's what we receive. 
And guess what? Esau, in his craftiness, lullabied our people to sleep. Now we're thinking that that's the true gospel. No, that's the gospel of our damnation and death. Let's get the real gospel of Christ. Give me Luke 1, 68. Let's get, let, let's get some real good news for the so-called black and Hispanic. And then, and then we're going to end it after this. It's the book Luke of Luke. 1. Chapter 1 and verse 68. This is the real gospel of Christ that you read in, in Romans, the first chapter and the 16th verse. I don't know what the hell Creflo was talking about. But this is the real gospel of Christ. Read that. Blessed be the Lord, God of Israel. Come on. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. God visited and redeemed us, his people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Come on. And hath raised up an horn of salvation for us. And the house of his servant. That David. horn, that leader is Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. It ain't that blonde hair, that stringy haired hippie. That, that's they God. That's they good news that rape robbed and murdered us and pillaged us. Our God has come to save us, to bring us up out of this captivity if we repent and keep his commandments. Read on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Come on. That we should be saved that from That we should. And it kills me, Christians, so-called, well, Christianity lights, so-called people in the religion of Christianity running around talking about, who I'm saved in Jesus. Negro, you ain't saved yet. We still in captivity. You still walk outside, it's trash all in the community, rats running around, pe uh, crackhead on the side of the road, snort, uh, snorting dope, smoking dope. We ain't been saved yet. That's why it says sh we should be saved. Christ came, and he's going to save us out of this captivity That's once right. we repent and keep his commandments. Yeah. So, no, Negro, you ain't saved yet in the blood of Jesus. Read on. That we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all they that hate and us. And they hate us. They hate us. They hate us. Give me Matthew 24. Yeah, we're going we gonna to get some good news today for the black and Hispanic, man. This is the real gospel of Christ. That's their gospel. That's their good news. That's their good news. This is our gospel, the gospel, the real gospel of Christ. Matthew 24, read verse 4. Matter of fact, jump down, jump down as we press for time. Jump down to verse 24. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 24. Let's get some good, real good news, the gospel of Christ. Read that. For there, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. And that's what you see. False Christ and false prophets. Your T.D. Jakes, your Creflo Dollars, your Kearney Thomases, your Ter Ken Kenneth Copeland, your Kearney Thomases, all of they false prophets. Yes, your, your pastor that you've been going to church your whole life and he's just a neighborhood priest, he's a false prophet because he learns from them. I tell you, I used to grow up, my daddy used to listen to all the Creflo Dollar tapes, all the T.D. Jakes tapes in the car. He listening, he patterned himself, patterning how he speaks after them. All them pastors do that. They do that. They learn. That's who, that's who they learn from. They all false prophets. Read on. And shall show great signs and wonders. Because they show great signs and wonders. They get on TV talking about, I've healed HIV. Ha, ha. And in, that, in real life, they have people that go to the church, I turn gasoline into pineapple juice. Great wonders and signs. Read on. And so much that if it were possible... They shall deceive the very elect. And this is how you know. I'm telling you, Esau has done, a, done his job. Because if it was possible, they would dece deceive the very elect. Because many of us in here today have been deceived. We was up in that nonsense in Christianity. Celebrating, worshiping, looking at the, the image of, of Christ like, ooh, that's Jesus right there. Mm -hmm. We was deceived at one point. Yeah, I was deceived, but I ain't going to drink no uh, nah, gasoline. No, well, nah, you weren't going to get me to drink no gasoline. I ain't drinking no right. damn gasoline. You damn right. You went too damn far now. <laughs> What the damn for now? <laughs> <laughs> read, read on. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, well, if they sh if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Come on. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. Come on. For as the light cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west. So shall also coming of the Son of Man. That's how it's going to be. Just like lightning coming out the east and it shines in the west. He about to come destroy this place. So shall the Son of Man be. Read. For wheresoever the carcass is. It says wheresoever the carcass is. Come on. There will. I'm sorry. There will the eagles be gathered together. There will the eagles be gathered together. This, this is some good news right here. Matter of fact, give me Revelations. We're going to end it here. Revelations 19, 17. What are he talking about? 
What is, what is Christ saying? Wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. His bodies in the street. Right. This, this is the this is the real, this is the true gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This, this should be some good news to the black and Hispanic man. Damn, God gonna come back and save me and kill my enemies. He gonna destroy every for me. To, all I gotta do is keep the commandments. That's some good news right there. Can I go over before you but, get Revelation? Go ahead, go ahead. Let me get Wisdom of Solomon 18. Now, let me read this first, and then you get that. Okay, cool. Read that. So what was he saying? Oh, uh, there will the eagles be gathered together. Read that. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 17. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, mm. and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together. Until the supper of the great Come God. Come gather together the supper of the great God. The coming of the Son of God. Read on. That ye may eat the flesh of king. Why? Because God, when Christ returns, oh, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be a day. It's going to be a glorious day. And we're going to be weeping and gnashing the teeth, the amount of destruction that is going to happen. This is the real gospel of Christ. Christ is coming back to, remember, we read in Luke 1 and 68, he have come to redeem us and save us from our enemies. This is that salvation right here. Oh, you so you think that's what you got in Wisdom of Solomon? So you think salvation, you're you just going to be saved and ain't nobody going to die? Right. Read on and then get that. And the flesh of captains and the flesh of mighty men mm. and the flesh of horses and of them that sit on them and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. Oh, There's going to be a lot of carcasses in that day. That's the true gospel. What you got? Wisdom of Solomon 18 and 7. Because in Christianity, it's supposed to be Christ coming in a, a nimblest cloud that causes rain <laughs> with his hands open, his perm long, with, a, with skittles with a and a, rainbows. With a, no, not a rainbow, a gay bow. A gay bow. No, because it, it ain't no rainbow. Because that, that's, the, that's the covenant of God. He got a gay bow. Esau got a movie out where they just poof and their clothes just neatly folded wherever they were whenever the white Jesus showed up. <laughs> Let's read what the Bible say. What the hell? What's my Solomon? Chuck so they butt naked in the sky because they clothes is neatly folded. That's, you know, that's Esau mind. Yeah, that's that's, Esau, fornicator yeah. from the beginning, vile, profane. All right, read that. Was my Solomon, chapter 18 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. So of thy people was accepted both the salvation of the righteous and the destruction of the enemies. You have to accept that. If you want to be saved and accept the good news, Miss Laura got to go. Habib got to go. Bye, Miss Laura. Maylene got to right, go. Bye, Miss Laura. All your enemies got to go. The man at the convenience store, the one that sold you the shrimp fried rice, they all got to die mm -hmm. for you to get back on top, black man, Hispanic man, Native American man. If you don't accept that, you don't accept the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's some good news right there. I want you one. That's some good news. Go ahead. Isaiah 14. That's some good, that's some good news. Let's get, let's get that. Isaiah that's, that's 14 and start at verse 1. <laughs> this is the book of Isaiah, okay. chapter 14 and verse 1. Uh -huh. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. All praises. Real? And will yet choose Israel. And he still will choose us. Yeah, we messed up. That's why the nation's mad at right, us. Right, right, right. They thought, yeah, we we have them. We burnt their Bibles. We put them deep, we put them deep to sleep. But guess what? He said, I'm going to yet have mercy on them. I'm going to yet choose them. That's some good news. Read on. And set them in their own land. And we're going to have our own land. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And we're going to have some strangers. We're going to have some As slaves. I know some of you nasty Israelites out You Israelite swirlers. <laughs> swirlers. <laughs> you swirlers out there. Oh, yeah, I've been hearing some stuff on you Clubhouse. Gonna, think you're going to get to rape the white man, the white woman. And and, uh, and some of y'all looking at the Arabs and the Moabites, you Israelite swirlers. They, they slaves, servants, and bondmaids. Read. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Uh-huh. And the people shall take them. And bring them to their place. We're going to take them and bring them to their place. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them. We're going to do what? Possess them. That sounds good. That's right good there. news right there. That's, possess. That's, that's the gospel right that's there. That's mine right there. You go over there, man. That's mine right there. It's Don't like, touch my property. It's like when you go to the car lot. <laughs> you know, you like that red Corvette. Or you like <laughs> that brand new sparkler Jaguar. Uh huh. That's mine right there. Yeah, that's mine right Go there. Go ahead and get it cleaned up. <laughs> you coming to my house. <laughs> Read on. Shall possess them in the land of the Lord, 
for servants and handmaids. This is going to be the land of the Lord for what? Servants and handmaids. It's about time. Because mm-hmm. that's, that's how, that's how they felt. News. That that that's what, that was their gospel. Good they news. was over here pillaging us and breaking us slaves. That was their gospel. Now it's, it's coming a time where, yes, we got our gospel. Mm-hmm. And, this, and that's the Bible, that good news. That good news. J-O, <laughs> J-O going to be turned all around. Tonight hey. we going to serve black cake. <laughs> 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 Listen. And if you ain't down with that, the devil is on you. Right, right. The devil, they, they <laughs> sound, they, they, die, nigga, die. <laughs> they, they say what we say is evil. No, that's the news. That's the good news that Christ brought. Mm-hmm. And because think about it, they didn't think it was evil whenever they came over here and was uh, had you in slavery. Right. They was justifying it. They said it is a necessity. It is necessary for Christianity. Slavery is necessary as a part of Christianity. That you didn't see them talking about, oh, no, 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 <laughs> uh, no, not, not him, not, not Jimbo, not, not, uh, not Tebow, not uh, Tito. No, they was all for it. Yes. Mm-hmm. America. Make America. America great again. So guess America. what? We're going to be the same way. All right. praise. America. Why? Because we, ju- we back by the one true living that's God. That's right. The God that's of right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's some good news right here. So with that, we're going to end it. All praises be to the mess. All praises be to the most high God for another show. Make sure y'all tune in. Count one on one. Seven o'clock. Make we sure back, y'all. y'all. Cast it down imaginations. We back. We'll be back next week. Same time, same place, same Bible. Shalom. DJ, take us out. Let's go. There's a lights on the scene here to let you know. Yeah, his eyes like wine and his feet like grass. And you know his woolly hair, same color that snow. Yeah, Christ gon' go with that fire. Be blazing, blazing. Them nations, them nations for our salvation. Yeah, them heathens gon' get. Israel, pop a sign in the streets. It is real, pop a sign in the streets. Huh? Look at me, the center of attention. Black Messiah, coming with a vengeance. Huh? Coming with a vengeance. Black Messiah, coming with a vengeance. Ah. They screaming peace, it ain't no peace. We brought the sign in the streets.